Well, hello there, everybody. On the seventh day in Monte Carlo, and I tell you, it feels like I've been here for 20 days. And it's not that it's bad; it's just so much has happened, and we packed so much exciting stuff into this tournament. Uh, and the memories I have outside of playing, I, I just—it's just amazing what it is like to be here. But we are in the semifinals. We're down to four undefeated players, and the. Uh, Two matches that are starting now on stream one and stream two. Thank you. On stream one, uh, this is stream two, by the way, and we're going to have a great match with um, Ofer Balali, who is not very well known, hasn't been playing a lot of uh, years. He's supposed to be a very fine money player. He's from Israel, from a town called Rishon Le Zion. He loves that little city. It's about 20 minutes out of Tel Aviv, and he said to be sure I mentioned that town. He's very proud to be from there. I interviewed him a little bit before the match. Really interesting, fun guy. He's single. Uh, he loves backgammon. Just a few years ago, he stopped playing Sheesh Beish, which is backgammon without the cube. He found the cube, and he fell in love. And here he is. Uh, he's going to be playing somebody that needs no introduction, Victor Ashkenazi. Victor squeaked out a match last night, a very close one against Fer Fernando Bacconi, uh, in very, very exciting fashion. And... Uh, you know, the interesting, I interviewed Victor after the match. If you haven't seen that interview, go to it. You'll get a lot of insight about what it's like to be one of the best players in the world and how you feel when you're in Monte Carlo. It's not about the money. It's not about pressure. It's not about, He just wants that title. He is not playing to win a match. He's playing to win the world championship. And, by the way, when we were out to dinner the other night, a few of us were talking about who are the best players in the world that have never won the world championship yet. Victor is very high on that list, along with Wilcox Snelling, Michi, and, uh, and Zedek. But Zedek, he's very young. He's got a lot of time. And uh, so Victor is, is really uh, certainly going to be the favorite in this match. He's probably going to play at a lower PR, but that doesn't mean he's going to win. We've seen all kinds of upsets in this tournament. If you want to watch Stream 1, Bill Riles and Seb Wilkinson will be doing the commentary. Another very, very exciting and fine match. It's going to be between, I'm sorry, that's going to be between uh, Victor and Chris Rogers. I'm doing Ofer and Frank Frigo. What am I thinking of? I got it mixed because I got switched from one to the other. Frank Frigo is going to be playing Ofer, and Frank is uh, uh, a world champion from 1994, hoping to repeat. Very nice guy, very old, good friend of mine. And uh, Frank now lives in San Diego. He and uh, Michael Pine set up the San Diego Club, and they're really getting successful. They're promoting the heck out of that club all over San Diego. You, you can hardly go into any coffee shop anywhere in San Diego and not see a poster about backgammon. They get a lot, they're bringing a lot of new people into the game. It's really exciting. Uh, Frank is uh, just a super player. Uh, he is a... He, he was the one, I, I mentioned this on another stream, he liked what XG did, did for backgammon, and he thought, well, why can't I do that for sports? Why can't we? Why can't the football coach, instead of guessing whether he should pass or run, be able to plug in all the variables, including his opponent's strengths and his strengths and weaknesses, and decide whether you should pass or run, whether you should punt or go for a field goal? And he put that together, and he did very well. It's called Zeus. You can Google it out online, and he sold it in the NFL, uh, I believe, to the Baltimore Colts, who won the Super Bowl the year they got it. <laughs> he also found out that the coaching in the NFL was very uh, was not was risk averse. The coach was afraid to take a big risk, because when it didn't work, he'd lose his job. But you know, in backgammon, how we have to take big risks all the time. Sometimes you have to hit loose, even if you get hit back and you lose. That's your best chance. So. That's the way it is in life and football and so on. Frank now has a company that's doing the same kind of analysis for businesses. Should you price something high or low? Should you spend X for marketing and so on? It's, it's all kinds of uh, uh, metrics that are incredible using computer models to help uh, make the decision. So very smart guy, very sharp guy. Uh, he was partners at Zeus with uh, another good friend of mine, Chuck Bauer, who's a professor at the University of Indiana. I think he's a professor of, uh, uh, I think he's a rocket scientist <laughs> or quantum mechanics or something like that. These are smart guys here. And this uh, Ofer, uh, he had a, a pretty tough draw. Along the way, he had to beat Steve Sachs, and he did. We all know what a great player Steve Sachs is. It's no uh, easy feat to beat him. So this guy uh, is very exciting. Now, let me tell you what's happening in the tournament. There are four left in the undefeated. 
then we will get down to two left in the undefeated and then we will get down to one left in the undefeated and that player will immediately win 10,000 euro and the loser the second chance bracket all of the losers will compete to come up with one winner from there who will play the winner of the undefeated one match for the championship so the advantage of being undefeated is 10,000 euro but there's no advantage in the final match there'll be a single match Monte Carlo used to have two matches where the uh, other player had a win oh who's this Frank good luck to you glad to see you there we need a repeat don't we i hope so too i'm looking forward to it michael i was just telling him about your club just just a second go get him your opponent's in there so that was frank uh very happy to see him and i'm not going to root for anybody but frank and i are old friends he's an american and uh ofer is from israel and i'm jewish so i ha I'm, I'm torn so i should be torn i should be happy for both of them um Okay, I will watch the chat when I can. Justin Knowles is going to join me on the on the commentary. Uh, I hope soon. He's supposed to be here anytime soon. And um, we'll get going. Any questions on the chat? Let me know. James Painter on the chat. How are you? Good to see you. A hello from Paris. Nice to see that. Our next match today will be at uh, 10 o'clock tonight. There's there's some doubles matches. Tara. Yeah, Tara. Is the next, is, is the, the winners, are they going to play at 10 o'clock tonight? Oh, the winners of these two matches are playing at 10 o'clock tonight. Are we having any streaming in between or not? Streaming. Okay. So there. Okay. So we already had a super jackpot. So another one. That was a high roller. Okay. 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 So stay tuned and watch the channel. We'll announce when we're having more matches. There may well be more matches. I was just talking to the boss. Uh, Tara Mendocino is the boss. She and Bill Ryle set up the streaming, and we do pretty much whatever they say. All right, we're getting ready to start. For those of you who didn't see my Facebook post, I was at a nice restaurant. The waiter was kind of snooty. So when it came my turn, I asked for a steak tartare medium rare. And... Uh, he actually did have a sense of humor. Everybody started laughing, and he was very nice after that. Hello, Phil from Jerusalem. Ronan, hello there from Perth, Australia. We've been getting a pretty good crowd, and if you go to YouTube and see how many people have watched these matches afterwards, it's pretty exciting. And um, over the next few weeks, we'll get to thousands and thousands of people watching these matches and they should we're watching the best players in the best tournament for the most money with the best commentators <laughs> and i do say that jokingly there's a lot of great commentators out there i just happen to be lucky to have been selected and i feel so lucky to be here if i wasn't commentating i would have been here anyway <clears throat> playing i've come here several times and Never done well. Well, I did pretty well in the tournament. At one point, <clears throat> I got to 
the money around and hedged and made a little money that one time. And that's, that's a pretty big achievement down at, at a tournament like this. <clears throat> I need to make a correction in my commentary last night. I said Fernando Bracconi hadn't done anything in Monte Carlo, but last year he came in, I think, fourth, third or fourth. So he has had some experience there. C.W. Cherry from Perth. Mark Z. from Carmel, Indiana. Carmel, just right outside of uh, Indianapolis. Driven through there many times on my way to Indianapolis. We used to have a great tournament there every year. Run by the Mises. They retired. Neil Kazaros used to drive to that tournament in his Lamborghini every year. They'd park the Lamborghini right in front of the hotel and rope it off to show it off. One day we're coming back from dinner. I'm with Bill Davis and a bunch of friends. And there's a bunch of kids looking at the, you know, little kid, teenage kids, maybe a little younger, looking at the Lamborghini, excited about it. And Bill Davis says to them something I thought I'll never forget. He says, kids, if you go to school, work very, very hard and work hard your whole life and save your money, you won't be able to afford one wheel of that car. <laughs> it was probably the meanest thing I've ever heard. And, and it was so nasty, I wish I'd have said it. See, Justin, I'm going to grab a glass of water real quick. I'm going to need it for my throat. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, he's right here. Elfer's right here. All right, you're going to watch the chat for me, aren't you? Oh, man, I can't watch them. You can't? I mean, I, I, then I'll I'd watch, the, watch the match. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to watch it. Just check it every now and then. I'll, I'll try to check it then. All right. As you can see, I'm joined by the famous Justin Knoll, who knows a little bit more about the game than I do, so I'll have somebody who's reasonably intelligent we do not have an xg stream for this match but there is a, up on stream one there will be an xg stream so uh, i think you should just assume that everything we say is correct uh, yeah yeah having justin yeah <laughs> he's mr one ply and i mr um um hmm, what's less than one ply <laughs> i'm um I'm je jellyfish 19 no, I was just gonna think I, yeah, it's 1993 jellyfish wasn't that when it came out I don't know yeah. I didn't know backgammon existed in 1993 yeah in I fact, was still working my way through middle school there was one year when jellyfish came out that Kit Woolsey was testing it and he was the only one that had it he said he was the best player in the world that year for that reason okay we have Ofer Balali from Israel and Frank Frigo from trying San Diego, to two -time champion. trying to become a two-time champion. There aren't many of them. There aren't many of them. There's only one three-time champion, Jordan Grandstead from Monte Carlo. We have a couple of two-time champions here. Champions here, Kiko, 
and um what's his name again what's his name that, that, that yeah, funny that. guy from uh another alliterative name frank frigo amasa yuki mochisuki i think <coughs> you know those guys anybody else a two-timer here i don't think so as far as champion yeah or just in life <laughs> Well, I guess I qualify. <laughs> okay, we got Frank on top playing the black checkers, and we got Ofer on the bottom playing the white checkers. I think they're both going the wrong way, uh, and that happens in backgammon. They're both going to bear off the wrong way. As long as you both do it, it's okay, isn't it? By the wrong way, what do you mean? Not towards the clock? Well, they're, they're both bearing off to the left instead of to the right. <laughs> I like to bear off to the right. Hey, I know a lot of people that have a real problem if they have to play the other checkers. I'm just kidding around with those people. When you play online, you're almost always bearing off. You're almost always the bottom player bearing off to the right. And that's what people are used to. They play online a lot. So they get mixed up when they sit down. I had a student here, by the way, who made it very far in the intermediate. Made it to the finals of the intermediate, and he was worried that he would have to play the other way. I said, sit your ass down here, and I want you to play me a match the other way. And find out how easy it is. Just try it. He tried it, and it was fine. It does throw some people off at first. Yeah, you know, you got to try it. It's just like, uh, well, I won't say what it's just like. It's like water skiing. After you get up the first time, it's okay. Okay, we got the 18-point holding game here for Ofer. This is what I call the uh, middle game play. After the first two, three moves, we're out of the opening moves which I pretty much have memorized, not completely, but pretty much. And here I get lost. I wouldn't step up. I would slot one of the points. Stepping up puts him under the gun quite a bit. Yeah. Nine. Got 27 numbers that are direct shots. Plus the... Seem to work out pretty good. You make the three point? I guess so. It's at least you're making a productive point. There wasn't much else you can do. And we're stuck. <laughs> you know. Maybe you hop out anyway. The other semifinal is being played simul simultaneously on stream one. And you just uh, go to YouTube and look for the seventh day stream one you're on seven day stream two it's that easy to find it on youtube and you'll find the victor ashkenazi match against chris rogers uh victor and chris Let's have ourselves a basic holding game here nothing much going on at the moment Frank Frigo is taking note of the race. I think once he catches it, he'll probably hold on to the cube. Yeah. <clears throat> According to the rule of four by Grant Hoffman, you need to be up about 15% in the race to double this. And you still wouldn't do it if your position is brittle. And it's an easy, easy take. Almost, almost forever. All right. So, little freeze. Time to break contact for white. Apparently he knows he's up, yeah, or he's just going to set it up and then check the race. It's got to be fairly close. So what you're thinking is, are my odds of getting a shot and hitting it better than winning a race? It's just that simple. And if you play the game for 40, 50 years, you're still not sure. That's how simple it is. A 113 for white. And if you're not leading the race, you should be more inclined to play for the hit. 105 for black. So he was down eight pips. Down eight pips after the play. Yeah, after and, it, and the roll is worth eight. Don't come over here, please. Please don't. Please, please don't. Go back there. Get down here. Okay. Mm. 
This is not an easy one for Frank to bring home without leaving a shot. If I rolled a 5-4 right now, I probably would volunteer, wouldn't you? Uh, probably not. Probably not? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 you know, I don't know. I, I start considering volunteering once I've tossed the cube. I mean, uh, but maybe. I... Or once you run out of time on the other side, you still have some checkers to play with. When you start running out of time, though, you... You yeah. uh, you might volunteer with a five four, not with a five one or five two. And a five three, it's really questionable. I've run a bunch of tests on that, and they're mem they actually reference positions for me that I forgot. Which is a real problem with reference positions. If you don't remember them, is it still a reference position? It is, but just not for you. <laughs> it's not for me. Yeah. For, for somebody else. Justin needs to move closer to the mic or move the mic closer to Justin. Thank you for the comment. Any other comments I really appreciate. Do you really need to hear Justin though? I mean, isn't it good enough to just hear me? So we must not be close enough yet. Yeah, right? you got to be up a lot in the race to double this because there's a lot of shot numbers. So two, three, I'm probably just bring both in. You yep. don't want to break your board yet because he might roll a six first and then you want to hit the guy. He rolls five, four. Yeah, not leaving a shot, obviously. His board's too strong for that. The problem with plays like this though is that it hurts your racing equity overall. He's certainly going to come closer. He has to. If you're winning the race and he is, and then I would it slot the one point. Yeah, it greatly probably. reduces the chances of leaving a, a shot and not as many shots if you do leave a shot. Now who's going to roll a six first and be in trouble? Yeah, six, one, six, two are the worst. Uh, maybe you can run now? I don't know. Maybe you could run. I think if I run, I double. Uh, that's maybe why you don't run. Uh, well, he might double anyway. I mean, look, yeah. what's the race now, you know? Especially with all the dead checkers on the ace point. He has a blot on the ace right now, you know. You run, you preserve some of your racing equity. I guess maybe not just for 6-2. Maybe you don't just for 6-2. How about 6-1? Six, 6-1 one. Six, one is oh, fine. Six, oh, you yeah, mean yeah, after he runs, yeah. 6-2 yeah, yeah. is like, it goes from his worst number to a super joke. Well, let's not forget 2-5, two, 2-1, one, double 1-2. One, double yeah. A lot of numbers really hurt if you run. Probably going to get the cube there. What you do when you run, though, is also you make twos good that are right now bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, he doubles. The, the best time to double is when you're not sure if it's a take or pass for your opponent. And he took. Okay. Big roll here. Very important roll. And a Six great three. roll for Frank. Now, of course, White's crossing their fingers, hoping to roll boxes. That would put him right back in it, 5-4. He's not out of it, but it's not looking good. Well, his racing equity is, is pretty bad. 6-1. Is, is there any other equity? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, his racing equity is just bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you cross over. There you go. Crossing over means going from one quadrant to the next. He can roll big here. He might have a chance. Or one, not big enough. Casper Vandertek. What do I know about Offer? I mentioned it earlier. He's from uh, just outside of Tel Aviv. He's only been playing a few years. Somebody told me he's a really strong money player. Um, and uh, not a lot of experience. He beat Steve Sachs along the way, so that's a, and a bunch of others. So that's that's saying something. <clears throat> he was friends with Falafel. No, I asked him if he was friends for, with Falafel. He said, "Who wasn't?" <laughs> everybody in Israel they have a close knit group, and Falafel, he said, was the glue that held everybody together.
Boxes. Okay. There's a chance. There is? Yeah, yeah, of course. You're a real optimist. Look at this. Doubles in a 2-1. And double three, one. 3-1. Three, one, double 1-2-1. One, one. And then doubles. And backgammon. All you need is a chance. Yep. Oof. I mean, you act like you haven't lost those before, you know? I've never lost those. Never? Well, I don't remember. Well, I forget my losses, too. Yeah, that's the key. It's easier. Happiness, Albert Schweitzer, happiness is good health and a bad memory. So these two matches that are going on now, these are the, the final four undefeated. Right, and they will play, the winners of these two matches will play tonight at uh, 10 o'clock. In the meantime, we have we may have a few other stream matches. We got the just Super for the finals of the undefeated. Finals of the undefeated, right? But not for the finals of the Monte Carlo Championship. Right. I've explained that in detail before you got here. Okay, good. In the meantime, we may still have some stream matches. Super jackpot, what we, doubles. What do we do with this? Do we just make the four or yes, hit? I got to leave. I got to leave you. I'll be back shortly. I hope. You lied to me about your health, Phil. <laughs> Three two makes the four point. You might as well keep the eight. Don't see any downside to doing that. Six three makes the three point. Six three again. Seems reasonable. Four two, okay. Got ourselves a situation where they both have just one man back. Provided White can turn the corner. Two three just comes down and around. Four six should just run. He gets hit with eleven numbers here. Uh, maybe I should go see if I can find a co-commentator here. See if anyone is in busy to help keep us uh, company here on this stream. Phil said he wasn't really feeling well this morning. Frank Frigo's counting the race again, seeing where he's at. Double six helps the situation. All right, 4-3. And what's the race? Two, three, six doesn't matter. He's already got himself into a double and a pass here. Frank Frigo's leading 4-0, I believe. Did they change the score? Phil said he's not feeling well. Yeah, he said that to me earlier, and then he he lied and said that he was feeling fine to get me over here, and then just left me. <laughs> if we can find somebody else to help keep me company. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay, six one's a misser. Bring the six down and that's slot the five. There's a man dying behind me. Five one. Plays safe, of course. We've got two men back versus no men back. Four three should cover the five, and I don't think we should make the anchor. White has a lot of bad numbers coming up, and if we decrease the contact zone, uh, we don't get shots on some of those bad numbers. 
but he's counting the race to see where he's at. You know, obviously there's a lot of downside to not making the anchor. Yeah. Three one, you know, double ones, double threes, tons of numbers. That I, double fours, I guess, also would make you ruin your day. But generally, after like getting away with running twice with no other distribution, it's not in your best interest to make the anchor because, well, there's a lot of bad numbers from White, and Frank leaves uh, leaves the anchor, doesn't make it. And 6-5, and he gets the shot he wouldn't have gotten otherwise, right? Double fives. That's three of them. And then we slot the three, of course. Five, four. Safe number. Tiptoeing his way home. How's it going? Hi. Introduce yourself. Is the Hello. microphone on? Yeah? Okay. Great. Yeah. Hi. Nice to join you, Justin. Mark Dixon here from the UK. We've played some Chouette before yes, in yes. Battersea. I fondly remember that. I, I remember these days as well. So nice to join you on here. In John Clark's old Chouette, right? Yeah, that's right. In Barnes. Yeah. Some great times. So have you been playing in the Monte Carlo for long? Do you come here? No, this year? is my first Monte Carlo. Me too. My wife allowed me to come. It's my 50th this year. <laughs> and she allowed me to come. She said once every 50 years you can come. And um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're negotiating on the frequency already. It's been a great week. I, uh, my strategy for that is to mention all of the tournaments that are happening around the world and then us talking to each other about which ones I get to go to. Yeah, yeah. Right? And yeah, I go, yeah. ooh, what about this one? What about that one? I talk about many and then we narrow it down to the few That's that uh, don't match up with any of her friends' weddings or stuff like this, you know? That's good. So you, you throw some ones out there that you don't want to go to? That I don't want to go to. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, Black's in a good position here. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks like they're up in the, the race maybe yeah. as well. Yeah. They... Uh, no, you don't come down because now double ones hits you. You just make the two. You don't want to give them yeah, an extra hitting number. Nice. Yeah, that's an asset as well. It means he can run to that midpoint. If, if he gets hit later on. Yeah. yeah. And even now, it's a stepping stone because he's... I think he's just doing this to count the race. I don't think this would be his play to give him an extra hitting number. Well, he's got a cube now on a miss, right? So. Oh wow! Okay. He did give him the extra hitter. And ah, it's double look ones. at that! You called it in. <laughs> you called that in. I've got those in. alpha waves, <laughs> alpha waves going in. You know. Fantastic. Wow. Huh? Good spot. <laughs> wow. <Wowie. laughs> a double ones again would be pretty. You just see the sick number. You know, it's funny. I didn't think he was actually going to do it. I thought he was just counting wow. the race, you know? Well, that's why you've got to look out for these small things, yeah? You know, they add I, up. I have the unfortunate habit of always seeing the sick way I can lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they add up. They add up. Yeah, Over the sure. course of a match, you know? 2% here, every go, adds up. It adds up over time, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what were the chances he was going to roll double one? I mean, slim to none, but, you know. After you commentated on it, pretty much won. Yeah, right? it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. <laughs> Or one, okay. That's, wow, wow. -y. <laughs> if he wow just made the two point, this wouldn't be happening. The game would be over. Yeah, yeah. Now you have to struggle again, fan. Geez, so this is how interesting about when White gets a cube. He's not there yet. He needs another point at least. I don't know the, what the race is, you know? So, oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, I six. think this is. I don't think he's quite there. 78, 88, 98. 104, 106 for white, and could be could be around a hundred, like 104, I believe. Yeah. So he's actually up in the race, even though he's on the roof. 
It kind of pips. feels like White should have waited until he got an extra point. Uh, so I, now I wouldn't be surprised White if that was no six, double. If we keep a running count, three five down two. Okay, so if the race was that close, maybe, but I, I don't think... I wouldn't have cubed, knowing no. that I was down in the race. 4-2 no, sure. just makes the point. See, he's under threat already now, yeah? Now they're square, I believe. Black and he has a 9 shot. Escape, holding the cube. 5-1, okay. he has to stay. Uh, I would maybe cross over twice. Yeah, yeah, the race is close enough. It also saves gamins if you do end up getting pointed on, but... Sure. Yeah. 1-3, okay. Really needs to hop out now. 5-3 doesn't move. It makes the two points. Yeah, but it's got a good defense now. White can't hit well, loose. That, he needs to hit loose, though. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't have to, luckily for him. Oh, he points him. on him, yeah. okay. But uh, I That's think he would have had to. I mean, you're, you're, sure, you're sure, not sure, really sure. winning the race. The other guy's this holding is why the cube. the cube was wrong, right? It worked out. <laughs> I'd go to the three point. Yeah, I like this play. It yeah, I think gives you more both. numbers to point on him. It covers... Oh, maybe double sixes ends up being really bad. I don't like this, though, because... It... He doesn't need the eight point. That's This is better, I think. Yeah, I mean, race is still close enough, so you need to you need to control. Yeah, this gives you more numbers to point on him, and it covers the super joker. Yeah, exactly, one. exactly. Two policemen on that. Is Although worth it. there is an anti joker of double six, which would be wild. Yeah, now this is interesting. You um, contemplate hitting. I think you got to go for the. Uh, I think you should hit. Maybe. Yeah. You know a six, and it's. Mm, I think. No, I think white six sufficiently winning the race now. I think it's too too costly. It's a tough situation, though. Okay, maybe you're up enough in the race to, yeah, to withstand the six here. Yeah, he hit him a bunch and a couple times. He runs out, brings two in. Uh, That's I cool. I think this is fine. Certainly looks better after the ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks two, better two. after that. So. Five two, just play safe, of course. Six three. Boxes for the sweat. Nope. Yeah, yeah, Five yeah. four. If you can call them in again, yeah. That's the fun thing about calling out numbers. Sometimes is like when they show up. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. remembers, and when they don't show up, nobody remembers. That's right. Yeah. So you can do it every time. Yeah. You'll be right some of the time. So Frank Frigo won before, hasn't he? He has. Back in the 80s, someone said, or the 90s. 90s, I believe. 90s. Yeah. 94. 94. Okay. Oh, 1994. You know what I was doing in 94? Go on. Learning to tie my shoes. <laughs> I was graduating no, from university. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe that's 30 years ago? It doesn't feel like 30 years, right? It's crazy. It's pretty wild. This looks okay, so I'm going to really follow hard. the chat as well in case we get any. Okay. So if you have anything you want to type in, do, and I'll keep half an eye on the chat. Yeah, and since we're logged into Phil Simborg's account, we could try to get him banned by saying crazy things in the <laughs> chat as well, right? That sounds brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Okay, five, uh, three, two, okay. The wow, you would have got that. You would have had that one. He should have been four love up, right? The only thing is, I don't think I'm creative enough to come up with anything as offensive as he might actually say himself. <laughs> That's right. He's the most likely person to get himself yeah. banned. Yeah, right? it's not me. <laughs> I'm not creative enough. So I don't know uh, Offa Balali. Do you know anything about him? I do not. 
Wow, so that's pretty exciting. Okay. Phil Phil interviewed him, I believe, or talked to him before the match to get all this information about him, and then disappeared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not feeling well. Yeah, I heard that. That's yeah, a pity. Yeah. yeah, best wishes, Phil. Wonder if you're in your hotel room watching the stream <laughs> and seeing what a bad job we're doing and filling in for you. Your, your job's safe, Phil, don't worry. 4-1, okay. 13-8 seems pretty okay. Yeah, this seems nice. Developing both sides of the board. Not much risk, really. Yeah. I think I would have played 13-8, but I'm sure this is fine. I think I prefer the development chance here. Yeah, you're probably making the two point, aren't you, and coming down. Really? I don't give up the eight. Yeah. I don't give up the eight point here. I don't want to give up my landing spot, I don't think. Also, you want to you want to keep points in front of the anchor, not behind. I think this is better. It's a bit stripped, though. But... Could be, could be double hit. Yeah, I, I think so. This. I think so, with the block on the inside. Five two yeah. picks and passes. It's nice. Four one, only one in. He's getting close to a cube. It's not quite there for me. He's a bit stiff, too far away. Six five, wow. Not a good shake. I don't know what the race is. Do you contemplate running with one, maybe? Or, or double falcon as it's yeah, as coming it's out with both is an option that i think is i quite like this the two and the three are duplicated as hitters as well ah twos and threes are duped twos and threes are rolled i think you've got it you've got to come in with the two and hit hit with the three haven't you for the coverage on the four point it's a it big play. Like the better uh, option. I prefer the bigger well, play. Well, this one gets hit back with aces as well. So ones and threes instead of just uh, the aces the other I, way. I, the reason I like this is you've got a really great cube if he just comes in on the one or something, you know? Gives you more covers to cover the four as well. This looks good. Uh, but the sun case point for black, I think you can... You can be a little bit more risky. 4-1 four, one four, would one have been perfect, yeah. <laughs> 5-3, not nearly as good. That's nothing. You just have to safety that block, right? Play to the, mm, play to the 10. White cube here. It's an interesting one. Ooh. I would I give this some serious thought. Oh, no, he's cubing instantly. I think it was worth more time on the clock than that. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 guys in the zone. Black has the ace point made. Super stack on the six point. Black's got a block, another block to be hit at as well. Yeah, I thought that was a big take. I, I think uh, Ophir should have given a bit more time on the clock than that. Uh, I, I like the cube. But look at this. This is a blank. It's reasonable, though, if he's up in the race right now. He yeah, also could have hit be. loose on the five if he wanted to yeah, try to keep yeah. the momentum that would have going. Unstacked. Okay, so we had lots of attacking. Okay. He certainly had market losers. We can agree on that. Yeah. Mm, definitely. Six four just makes the bar. Yeah, he doesn't want to just just get rid of the blot and make the bar. Absolutely. I think you just have to make the bar. Yeah, yeah, there's not another choice. Tens for white. Double five from heaven. No. And now he's really ready for the shot. Six yeah, five that's makes a great the eight. shake. That was a, such a great shake, yeah. 
Now Black's got his nose ahead, I would say. Yeah, I don't think Black's there yet. But he, he's got some VIG on uh, White being forced out soon. But he, 92, 93 for White. Can't see that Black's up enough to double here. It'll be double two. 100 for the other side. Double slot, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, 6-1. And this is one of those situations now. Just yeah. Come down and maybe, yeah. Maybe cover? Yeah, I think so. Because he could. Six, three, he five, may get four. hit. Yeah. The way is five, three, six, two. Five, oh. five. Oh. Ah, uh, you well, might be up. Good for the race. I think, I think White might be up. I'm not sure it's the right strategy anyway, because practice getting past most of the time. Yeah, good. This is a better racing position. Bring that over. That gap will that gap will almost certainly get filled, but it's a weak note at the moment. I've done uh -huh, three. There we are. That fills it. Bring into the five. Yeah, or the six. Maybe the five, so both play into the three. It's not it's not a biggie. Yeah, yeah. You just have more flexibility to fill yeah, in yeah. the three, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, you want okay. Terrible. Black must be close. Stop and 10, count 10, this, 30, Frank. 51, 61. Yeah. 63, 73 for white. Six. Is it like 67 for black? Yeah, I'm around there. So I think I just play two in. I don't care about the three gap. No, the three gap will get filled in with yeah, the three. Quite, it's, quite, it's, quite. it's not as uh, punishable as a four gap. Yeah? Exactly. You worry about filling the fives and the fours, but otherwise it's fine. Black should be stopping and counting here, unless he instinctively knows it's not there. I mean, but it's knocking on the door. Count. Sure. Double fours. Yeah. White takes the lead. Ooh, that last one was, was that right? Probably. Six to two as a contender as well. So what, do you have the counting method here, Justin? What do you use? Uh, I just count them. Oh, you just count. <laughs> just, just simple, basic count the pips. Okay. So white has 40 now. This looks like good. Black has 38. But white structure is... Uh, a lot of sixes to go. I'm counting rolls. It's it's kind of five against five. Uh, 38 minus five is 33 divided by seven. 14, 21, 28. Let's take a six. I mean, so if he doubles, right. he should certainly be able to, to, to take this. Yeah, it's 10 checkers versus eight as well. I think he should maybe wait a roll. Yeah, it's close though. It's really close. He's getting there. And it won't take much for him to to shoot past his market though. I mean, yeah, he rolls a six sure. something, something roll. You know, it's like, but yeah, he does have more checkers off. Yeah, yeah. You're it's leading. Really you're holding close. a two cube. And I don't know what the adjustments are for the gaps here. Uh, they get filled in a lot, so yeah. 
bad roll here and he has it. 5-4. Above average. Yeah, that's probably enough. But this is close. Race 31 to 31. Still in the four. Okay. Might need the six here, probably. Four, three. Ah, that's tough. Wow. Ah, uh, this is really poor structure. Three, four rolls. Two, three. Oh, nah, double fours. Doesn't do anything, really. Ah, uh, saved them a lot. Doesn't take a lot of checkers off, though. Yeah, good for the pips. Or one. An ace by white probably gets doubled now. No. It would still be a two-roll situation if white rolled an ace, yeah? Uh, three rolls. No, he had five checkers left. Ah, uh, beg your pardon. Okay. So if he yeah. rolls an ace, he still yeah. has four checkers left. He gets to yeah, fill in yeah, the gap. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's why I'm sitting here commentating rather than playing, I guess. Yeah. Wait, what about me? <laughs> okay. Fear goes ahead. Well done, I fear. Long way to go, then. So did you get beaten by anyone notable? Yeah, yeah, Oliver. Oh wow. My 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 first round was ZZ. My second round was Oliver. Jeez, wow, wow. You're meeting all the top players younger than you, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm an old man. Everyone's younger than me. Even you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But like, no, well, it's fun. I mean, I, it's not like I mean, Oliver was at my house like a few weeks ago. We were playing. He's so good. He's so so strong. You know, I've known ZZ for years, so it's uh. Oliver played amazing, 2.5, and he had no time for the last three games. And I know, I know. I, I gave I gave a ridiculous cube, um, and I, if I just left that cube alone, there, and he just won a single point in that last game, there's a chance those three seconds go off. Yeah, the yeah, clock, yeah, you know? because he would struggle, I think, not to think, yeah. But it, it's, it's tough for you to uh, plan on the clock as being your savior. Yeah, yeah? I didn't have uh, much time. Uh... Is this what we're doing here? Yeah, it's tempting to make the 18, I think. Yeah. Hmm, it's tough. Ooh, Ooh the double ah, hit. I'm not sure about this. Okay, it does sweep the leg, but uh, I generally prefer to make structure. Yeah, yeah, it sweeps a bit temporary, yeah. And now White's got nothing for, for that for I Well, he has the chance to make the 18 again, okay. which he does. Okay, okay. I know, I can see that. I think I would have made it the first time, but this was interesting. That is interesting, 18 or 5. I make the 5. I think so, with the blot. With the blot there, you can make the attic. Yeah. I think we're this not, one is clear. We're, we're not... Black's not worried about the white attack, so just get some defense there, yeah. I think, you know, white's position is a bit too stacked, and if you come out to the 18, he gets to play all of his bad numbers over your head. Yeah, yeah. So what you'd prefer to do is just strengthen your board and have him roll those bad numbers and come to you, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't like this. It's similar to what happened in one of these earlier games after, like, uh, two running plays. To the, to the mid, he had the opportunity to make the defensive anchor and didn't, ended up getting a shot because of it. And yeah, here, yeah. it would have played awkward, and he would have had another shot at the ace with the better board, right? Sure, sure, sure. And here, you just make the four, of course. You're not yeah. worried about getting hit. Yeah, almost preferring to get a hit, but he's duplicated also. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to make the one point. <laughs> you don't favor the triple blocks in board. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, you can make the three as well. I prefer keeping the spare on the eight, though. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, an extra man to attack the eighteen. Well, an extra man to, to cover yeah. the five as well, right? Yeah. But I would only be covering the the one for the better distribution. This is looking good for black. White's kind of stripped. Okay, I can see why he's considering this. Is he up in the race? Yeah, he's perhaps. He's checking that now. If he's up in the race, it's probably right to run now. 96, 101, 11, 12, 16. He has 119. White's position is only going to get worse, so uh, running looks good, but he has to be up in the race to make it. But this is so strict. So. He is up in the race a lot, actually. So he well, should have done that play because he was up 16 pips, I think. Uh, look at look at the difference here. Yeah, uh, running running before looks great now. White's in a tough position. Yeah, he's going to be in trouble soon. Yeah, yeah, but Black's a bit stripped himself, so I'd rather be Black. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, maybe you make the deuce here, Justin. Yeah, yeah, I think you have no choice. Is that right? Yeah, maybe. Oh, that's bad. I know it's tough. Okay, double that three. Is interesting. This is, this is these ones are really interesting. You could even, I mean, or do you consider making the deuce and the ace and leaving the ace shot? Yeah, this is better for the next roll. Yeah. Strengthen your board. Wait for him to come to you. Have him roll something poor and give him yeah, the cue. How, how much do you care about getting hit on the ace? But okay, you're under pressure now. Four three. Ooh. Do I leave the shot here? I only break my board in karate class, right? So. Yeah, sure. Let's, but uh, the one one thing we know about backgammon is there's always exceptions to these golden rules, right? Okay. He gave the shot. That's good. I think. <laughs> we'll see. Five three. Okay, it's shot time for him. Threes and eights. Maybe uh, he. Uh, maybe he I needs think, to give him the cube. I think. <laughs> I think for sure, give it if he plays the shot. Yeah, thirteen to six is right by a mile. Uh, Tough you might, play you might for give white. A shot either way. Tough play for white. But you know, if you don't do this, you're leaving a double shot next time, almost certainly. This is this is a tough choice. Yeah, eighteen, fifteen, eighteen, thirteen is correct. This is the course. right play. Okay, okay. Ironically, I think it gets cubed more. I, I, I would have. I, I think I cube either way. By yeah, the way. Yeah. Okay. I'm less likely to cube as black here for some reason. Well, I I think everything he rolls the next shake is going to leave a shot. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. Therefore, you cube now because he's going to leave a shot. Oh. What the hell is this number? You, you cube. You cube now to avoid this number coming up. Is why you cube now. Yeah. Wow. On. That number is ridiculous. <laughs> That's right, horrendous. Wow. I think black is still a favorite. White can't cube this. I think black might still be a favorite. Yeah. I know for sure black is definitely a favorite. We've got a who can roll worst competition like going on now. now. Yeah? You can't wow. take this. But how can they both roll as badly as this? Oh, good. Yeah, instant pass. Okay. Yeah, I think we it was agree. a cube even with that. I mean, especially with that play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm massively cubing the other way. Yeah. And you, the funny thing is right. that, like, the other play is actually better for him so well it looks like the board is it, it look it's one of these sort of beginner concepts of looking immediately safer but in fact it wasn't right no it's not 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 even close yeah yeah sure it temporarily looks safe but uh yeah the next roll is disastrous i think it said. might be the only it might be a pass after that play the cube actually i, I mean I, you think that was even worse than the other one yeah, yeah by a lot actually okay interesting 
So that miss cube there probably cost him a lot because the guy just probably maybe takes. You never know, right? Sure, sure, sure. And then uh, yeah, yeah. And then the same sequence happens where he's forced to leave you a double shot, and you might just gammon the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you weren't punishing him for misunderstanding the position. Exactly. Yeah, I like this, I think. Like you're cubing on the come, right? It's like uh, you, you know what's likely to happen. Yeah, yeah, Everything's sure. coming to you. You and know, if the guy rolls double fives, God bless him. But other ways, you know, it's just... Uh... <coughs> And as you say, you're seeing it and uh, getting the cube in, and maybe the opponent's got a blind spot there. And I think yeah. that's like the—that's how like you you're supposed to look at these doubling decisions. It's kind of like how XG will look at it, like one ply looking one roll ahead versus sure. two rolls sure, versus sure, three sure. rolls. Sure, sure, if sure. If you can anticipate what's likely to happen on the next few rolls, you can see the cube clearly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, as the guy, as, the guy as rolled he his... says, uh, look to the future. Yeah, look at what happens next. Yeah, it's just a good method. Okay, what's the problem? Oh, we can slot the five. That sounds fun. If you want. I wouldn't do it, but you could. It's interesting. With the yeah, blood on the board, is, I, I, with the blood on the board, I play the three down. Yeah, maybe slotting the five is too much. Especially, is, do you want to threaten the man or the deuce? Do you want I to... think with the blind is board, I might just bring the three down. Just develop the stack. You're still attacking the blot here. Yeah, right? yeah. You're forcing him to be able to cover it. And this is like... This uh... is really passive. This is just letting black well, play I mean, as he wants. It gives you more opportunities to make the bar, make the five, right? Like. So choice here, five or deuce. I'd probably make the two point. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'd probably just make the two. It's tough to I don't turn like down to just leave shots and leave two blots for nothing. You've I got mean, the it's 22 not for point. Yeah, this is really gappy. I think I. I think I but then the guy I just rolls an ace. What about if the guy rolls 6 1? You yeah, know? But that, well, he could roll 4 sure, 3. You know, 6 1 is not making four, the three, bar. But two, so five, you we're. Know? we're uh, we're at least duplicating him making the bar with 6-1. I like the 5 here. I'd make the 2 point. Okay. So he gets hit with 6-5 uh, plus 2s. 2 hits. Good. And how about the five? I think I look at playing down 13 to eight here. Yeah, this looks good. And if nine rolls, you, you're getting a you're getting a strong double in, aren't you? Probably a cash even on the dance. I don't like this. Yeah, it feels funny. He's got a problem with the gaps. He doesn't need to be tightening up even more worried about the five rolls that are going to hit him from the roof. Well, sure, now there's seven. You've got an anchor, you know? You've got an anchor. Five, four. He must come And the out. upside is the control that Black has now. The previous play. Yeah, I like 11 to 10. That's good. So three, six, five, four, double fives. Three, Two, six. six fans, double. I think this is a double, yeah? You're threatening to make a fourth point. It's a double and it's a tough decision for white. With those two stranded, it could be a take, but I, this is tough. This, this is, I would find this difficult, tough take or drop. Just counting the race. But the cube seems clear. You know, if we're playing Chouettes, I'm taking this, I think. Um, I, I, I lose a lot the, in Chouettes. What's the race? <laughs> One, two, three. 
Yeah, I like the take. Black's got two men stranded back there. White's, I think White's got enough structure to give some friction for that. If Black doesn't make the five point, White's in really good shape. Four numbers to make four builders for the black for the five point. It's tough. <clears throat> okay, that's interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting one. I think that might have been a take. I, I think, think he's down 14 pips. There's 13 guys in the zone. Okay, what going on? Interesting. I think the pass is reasonable. Okay. You're seeing a number, a lot of gammons there as well, perhaps. Yeah. That seems reasonable. I would still just make the five here, I think. Or you can do this and slot the What's five. The one? Yeah, I suppose White's got a mountain of chips to come on him. Yeah, so... Um, I think I like this play. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're countering your opponent's anchor with yeah, an anchor exactly. of your own. Exactly. Stopping a lot of the counterplay in here. Uh... Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, the anchor's coming into play now. One six. Six to three. Ah. Okay, I mean, I, I see he's duping the ace to hit. You're trying to put it on a point you, you want to make. 18 and five, probably. Three here and the six. Yeah, coming down seems reasonable. I think coming out, I like the 18, yeah. Uh, tough choice, but either way, it's not great. I think slotting the two is right here. Looks more flexible. Yeah, yeah, and you're keeping the action on the seven point. Looks important. Got ourselves a lot of holding games over here, yeah, you know. Yeah. To repeat a lot of the same positions. <laughs> These things are good for the PR overall, but uh. I want to see blood, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I want to see some gammons here. We're hungry for gammons. Yeah, I need to see some more volatility. See these people trying to bring home these holding I think games. This is the 18, yeah? Yeah, we come out. And I think we could. Uh... Oh, that's all of it? Oh, yeah, he that's played down definitely. before. He played down ones. before. Yeah, yeah. It's a great shake, actually. White's, White's in some difficulty now. Hey, we slot the three. So yeah, Black, White's position is pretty stripped. Black's got the advantage here. By quite some way. It's not a double yet. Okay, we just slot the three point. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's so. possible to slot the two and play six to five, maybe, just so you have another spare on the outside in case you roll a silly six. But I, I think I would just slot the better point. This seems all right. I don't think it would be nice. Nice. Uh, big. It's still playing on the seven, which is good. That looks a nice play. What's the race? Ew. White's, White's ahead, I think. You could here. consider running. Yeah, yeah, good. You should have done, given how stripped he is as well. Yeah, I mean, that's the blot on the two point. I, you know, I don't know what you're going to do on your next They're roll, both right? really stripped. It was a good opportunity to run. Obviously, I can't be sure, but this has to do this. Yeah, yeah this is nice. You can't even move your back checkers now. Very similar game to the last one. Yeah, but uh, Black has a big advantage, I think, or they did. Yeah, you just play to the one here. Let White play. White, White's gonna. White's got a very good chance of slipping up first. Oh, oh. now they come in. And oh, that's amazing a number. Doesn't get him out of jail, but it's. it's one step way. closer. Yeah, absolutely. He's lifted up the manhole cover. Yeah. Wow. Okay, four three. 
Can't leave any shots here. Just gonna bring this in, yeah. But then there'd be two blots in your board. I see why he's trying to avoid this. Yeah, I think this is okay because uh, well, white... he can't leave a shot. Yeah. But, but white's it... gonna be looking to volunteer, and he can't. Black cannot leave a you shot. You can worry here. too much about two blots in board because many times you cover them as well. Yeah, but I mean, you have to worry some. The guy's got a five-point sure. board. He leaves a shot. You hit him, you, you get hit back. Oh. oh. This is interesting. Well, wow. He needs no six. Maybe like five, one, five, two, something. Say five, three is a good number. It's a great, it's a great shake. To avoid the... Uh, this is very similar to the last game. Who's going to press self-destruct first? Yeah. Four, three. Uh, you just got to kill your board here. Mm, do you? Well, you're leaving. Is it getting so any better? Many shots. But you're leaving so many shots. I here. think you just go. I would think I would just go. I don't think so. You're leaving so many shots. Okay, maybe this is a good way of going if you're I gonna think go. You just okay. Go. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're right, Justin. There's threes and twos and so sevens and eights. Let me ask you a question. So you break your board, yeah? The guy rolls in, maybe he covers the ace. Then you're in the same spot next time, except sure. you don't have a, a, a six-point board anymore, right? Yeah, but, but don't forget what can happen in between as you roll threes, fours, fives, no, and sixes. No, 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 yeah. no. You don't think about, um, maybe I get lucky and roll doubles. You just have to bite the bullet. Because you're in the same spot as you were before, sure, okay. except now you don't have okay. a board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he hits you, and you hit back, you could still lose, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Whereas in the other spot, he hits you, you hit back, you win. So you're an advocate <clears throat> general for pay, pay sooner, yeah? Um, I'm an advocate for paying on time. <laughs> you don't want to be too soon. You don't want to be too late. You want to be right on time, right? Pay when it's due. Yeah, not before exactly. Not after. Okay. I have auto pay set up to pay directly on the date. Yeah. Not before, yeah. not after. The yeah. full amount, exactly when it's due. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it solves a lot of the problems. I mean, if you would have hit him and he hit back, he wins. But it's not guaranteed here. And you're, he's in the exact same spot yeah, he would have been last this time. Is, this is hard. So you've got 11. Yeah, okay, he's passing. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know the race. If I knew the race, I would know what I would yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not getting paid enough to count. <laughs> and I'm too slow enough to count. No one on the stream yeah, wants yeah. to wait while I count. You know, that's not entertaining. But... Hello, chat. Um, I see what? Oh, Arts. How are you? I met him in a tournament in Istanbul. Oh, wow. I think he's also one of the top players on the new version 2 of Galaxy. Okay. I think his name on there is Arts as well. Okay, okay. So he's one of the, one of the first uh, 50 players to log into it, yeah? No, it's got, they got thousands of players on oh, there. Oh, wow. Very good. I went on. I went thousands on yesterday. of registered users, I believe. I went on yesterday. Yeah. It's a nice... I, I like the system, the finder player system. I thought that was good. Yeah, it's just different, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a bit of getting used yeah, to. Yeah, not but... everybody likes change, you know. Sure, sure, sure. I like the new rating change. I think getting something for winning is is, is a nice thing. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Make the seven or make the five. I like the seven. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps him from anchoring. Three, four. Now yeah, step down or step up. I think with half a roll, I look to step up and threaten that. Yeah. Five, six hits. Four, six, not ideal. I think we come out from the back, so we've got the connectivity. Well, also the fours are duped to hit and make the 20 point anchor as well, yeah. which is good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah the connectivity yeah. is also a very strong idea. Ah, you see? Four, six. Two down, maybe. Uh, or do we look to make the anchor and play one down? Yeah. I think I'm leaning towards that play, making the anchor and coming down. Yeah. I think there's just too much volatility sure, sure, sure. the other way. Yeah, you've got a, you've, you've got a good two-way game this way. Yeah. You would have been in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah, they just make the 10-point and bring the other guy around. 
And I would come, uh, yeah, down with it. Seems fine. Yeah. So white, white's got a very temporary play. <clears throat> okay. I would come out. Yeah, just slot the four. Yeah. Cross your fingers, of course. Looks good. I'd ask Race for insurance on a four. Race looks pretty even. Ah, uh, 5 2 isn't a safe number, but you can make the 11. Yeah, I like this and, and make. Ah, uh, I make the 4, I think. Don't like this too. Really? Ouch. Seems okay. Three down. Just I don't know. Four. I would play six to two probably. Okay, keep the flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. I just have a tendency to just play with stacks sometimes when other things start to look awkward. You start putting six checkers on a point or you start yeah, stripping yeah, yeah, yeah. points. You play six to two. You're not really in a game where you're expecting to get a shot sure, or sure, sure. do anything, right? So you just want to have an just easy way to get home. Yeah, you cover the points, start to bring things home, make your position look smooth, you know? Sure, sure, sure. This looks okay. Three on the eight, three on the ten. Six on the six is bad for me. I don't like sure, five on the six. Sure, sure, sure. But, but it, that, they'll come off. No, I think I play into the six rather than the two. Uh, I'm going to the saying, deuce. But I, I just, no, I think this, this is okay. Go into the deuce. You know, it's bearing in as well if the race is close. Now he's now, going to the deuce. Yeah, yeah. You, okay, you Absolutely. see? You see? You'd have yeah, both yeah. points by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should be counting here. I wonder what the situation is. He must know the, the count. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we make the deuce, we <laughs> slot the three. Just going to the ace is not good. At least here it's not. Uh, this is interesting. No, I just Maybe, bought the three. Yeah. yeah, I was looking at Probably. that. This is okay. This, yeah, is, this okay. is fine. This is good for the race. It's robust at least. It, it, yeah. It, it, you're unlikely to get a shot. 6-4, I'd bring these two in, yep. Yeah, yeah. The white's holding six away, which is um, which is really tough for black. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what the race is, right? So if black is losing the race, which doesn't look possible then uh, this would be good for him. But if he's up in the race, it's bad, right? Sure, sure, sure. Because if he was down in the race, but White was still on the 20 point, he would want to clear the points out of order and still hold the furthest point away. So when he was forced to run, he could then double and then attack him yeah. with a vengeance and a fury unlike the world has ever known. <laughs> but what, what, what I was meaning is White holding six away, he gets a lot of take action here. Yes, of course, of course. I mean, it's like it's a, it's an easy take. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think it's a double yet. I don't uh, know what the race is. Okay, six in okay. to the five. It covers the ace, which is good. So there's a bit of punishment if white goes, which he doesn't have to yet. 76 to what? Double four. Wow. Okay, well, okay, okay. I would just make the now. three in cube. Okay. 
meaning he's passing anyway, so the extra risk of the gap doesn't cost you anything. You're cubing now, and he has to pass. So there you yeah. go. So you didn't need to worry about that yeah. gap. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. just better for the race if he rolls like fives yeah, or yeah. something. No, or, yeah, yeah. No, nice, nice. I, I was looking at playing safer, but I didn't spot that you get a pass anyway when it when it when it goes averagely and when it goes well. Yeah. Sure. Nice. Seven four. And the 11. Yeah. It's the most common way to play twos. Double sixes. Nice shot. Three down. Uh, could be slot to four here. I would play three down. It's just a more robust position to try to sure. make the five or the four next sure. roll, right? Now that you have the 18, the 13, you know, you don't really. Yeah, okay. So much. But just... holding the 18. Reduces the value in the midpoint and this somewhat. Is, it's yeah. harder to cover too, even sure. if you're missed. Sure, you sure, know? sure. And then you just have a really, really robust kind of position that yeah, can yeah, roll yeah, itself yeah. forward I can a bit see that. And you can come off the mid. You can lose the mid because of the 18. Yeah. So many numbers work for you at that point, right? You got good sixes, fives. And at this point, you play. Okay, okay. Made, made I double, double ones. I see. One, two. And make the five. I don't switch. I just make the no, five, bad. and then I give him the thing. Absolutely. Unless he rolls a three. Then I consider it, and just, this is probably too good. I think I'd cash here. I think it might be too good. You're seven four up. There's a guy on the roof. You have a five prime already. Okay, just take a free roll you're advocating for, yeah? Just... I don't know what is going to happen that's going sure. to allow him to take sure. the next roll. Sure. You can just try. So let's say he rolls a three. Maybe you just double from the root yeah, yeah. unless he rolls exactly. so free, like double threes or free something. Free rolling in your attempt to get a gammon, yeah. Okay, now I cube. Yeah, fantastic, Justin. He's Let read... go, Frank. Frank's read just, your book, yeah. Just now he's read my mind. The <laughs> alpha waves. I'm only saying let's go, Frank, because he, he made my plays. Not that uh, I have any skin in the game. I haven't bet on anybody in this besides one of my students. Um, I bet on one of my students because he was 500 to 1. Wow. That's and I was bet. like, I'm putting a bet on you to win because you're better than five to 500 to 1 sure, favor sure, for sure. 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 A Chris Rogers in the semi was 300 to 1. 300 to 1. Which is, that's, uh... If I knew his odds were 300 to 1, I'd put money on him too. Well, you, He you're... seems to make it far in many events. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I played with him before. I know his game is sound. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I played with him uh, a few weeks ago in London. Long odds. Yeah. See, this is the way you do it. Then you cube the guy from the roof. And then now there's a real decision, right? The other way, there's no real decision. Sure, of course sure. the guy's passing, right? Sure, sure, sure. But now sure. there's a way to go wrong, you see? What would you do? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm struggling here as white. Uh, I think I'm passing. Hey. I think I'm passing, yeah. There's a lot to do. And you've got to come in first before you can start to do it. Wonder potential is fun, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good for the stream. It's Absolutely. good for the stream. Yeah, so we, he had a few very, rolls where he could have got a gammon. Yeah, yeah no, that was a very disciplined, you know? It's like you feel optimistic. You rolled the three... You're on the roof, he's on the roof, you know? Yeah, so you're giving your opponent a chance to make an error as well, right? Yes, I mean, we don't know what, what the best play was. I mean, it could be to take this. Uh, it, I, I don't like it, though, but... <laughs> no, it looked pretty horrid. You've got to come in. and You don't always come into the three either to get yes, the Yeah, that's the problem. Is you that you're, is like, come into the ace or the deuce and you just get blitzed or, exactly. or something. Exactly, he could just come in and then you could just fan again. Absolutely. If you were guaranteed to anchor, it still wouldn't be a fun place to be, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's and, why and, I thought it was a good decision to play on because there weren't many spots where... Now, this is interesting. Four. I think it's just a five. Oh, no. It's, oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We make the bar. Squeeze. Double fives. Whoa. Game over? Maybe? No, maybe not game over. I'm doubling. I think. I think it's a double two. I'm doubling. 
I mean, this number's a disaster, yeah? I, I think, don't think I you think, can pass uh, that. Can you pass this? It's a double for sure. It's a double, and you're behind. See, so you, it's a good spot to double when you're behind. I mean, this, this this position just went from pretty good to, like, pretty miserable in an I instant. Think, think You're shooting at a one. Like yeah. got two guys behind the four prime with really good distribution. And you've got two guys back on the 24, but it's not like they're getting trapped. Good take by Frank. We'll see. Nice take. Yeah, I, it's a very strong take. But I got to I gotta, I gotta look this up real but quick. But I think a big reason for the double there was you often get past. So I, I like the take by Frank. Very, very curious. I got a feeling it was a take. It's only a two point board. And yeah. it's only a four prime, you know. Wow. And Frank's improved lots, but he needs to be able to motivate the back men. Double two, that's a great shake. Played them both in, I think, so you can then blitz. Oh, I don't know about that last two. I yeah. think you need to do that. Nothing covers at the back of the prime. I think seven at the score, to five I think it might better. be tough, though. I, I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Talk about an improvement. Yeah, I don't know about that take. Looks good now. <laughs> it looks amazing now. Provided he can roll a six it next it, roll, it yeah. It looked brave before, but now we think it looks brave and good. I don't but know, at the he's score. Not, he's not out of trouble yet, right? No, of it's course. Brilliantly it's not like you win with a six, you know? Although you can six, try. Four. Okay, you just continue. Do this. But White's still <clears throat> laughing, or could be. Four two points. Wow. Nice roll. Oh, there's nothing to think about here. Interesting, though. Maybe there is stepping up. I don't do it. I think you have to cover. I just cover. You've still got play, you know, six yeah, is about, all, but... You, you uh, should, in, in theory, you should be all right. <laughs> we'll see. Sixes are a pain, but um, fives play. Oh, oh that's too fast. That's you don't want that number. Yeah, definitely get rid of that from your cup. Five, five two. two. Yeah, I think it's maybe, yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, I like I this. You get this. rid of your fours to play. Uh, and sixes are good now. You've got some useful sixes. Four, three fans. And then look, there's some gamma potentially if you could squeeze a four. No, out two, soon. one would be a good number, yeah, but not as good as the four. Block. Four is the world right Double now. Double fours. Double four. Okay. That looks pretty yeah, strong. That's amazing. Yeah, just this. Don't don't give him a little sh No, you have to give oh. him a shot. Oh, no, okay you have to. No, prime. no, you just got to come out, I think. You don't want to be stuck there. I mean, you give him the Fogerlin number. I can see he was thinking about one extra, but this is right. This is right. Cool. The wrong uh, eight. A three for some gammon risk. Six one makes the wow. two. He really needs to enter and lift the other guy. Five three. I'm in some trouble now. Five two, okay. Uh, would you play four to two here just to conserve no. some timing to get no. the other one? I would never put a guy on the one in that spot because no, no, it's four just to two. I mean, four to two, just to keep a little bit of. Oh movement. no, no, I would never okay. do that. No, just because it's just too inflexible. Because you want to okay. start slashing on the. Yeah. Okay. Five. I just get out. I think I don't want to be counter primed here. I don't see counter prime happening. This plate to the three or come out. Oh, I'm not sure this is right. I think that loses way too much to be worth it. I don't think you need to do I that. I could do it in some on some in some circumstances, but like uh here it looked too expensive, yeah. Double threes. I liked this idea. I didn't like lingering back. I don't see much counter prime. Even if the guy points on you, I mean, sure, you sure, literally sure. have to enter immediately with like a. Even a five is fine for the next roll. Then he has to break like almost immediately. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, you I mean, can, there is some risk for you sure. You can see ghosts too much in this game, aren't you? Yeah. And now that he has the ace point made, I mean, you can just do whatever you want. Let's go fishing now, yeah. 
So here we always looked for good fives and sixes. So like double, f sorry, not fives and sixes, fives and fours. Those are your always your worst numbers in these types of positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. double sixes will always complete the prime. And double fours and double fives will always like destroy your position. So in these sorts of spots, when you see these guys thinking about things, it's generally about uh, like where does double fours and double fives land? Because yeah. those are always your anti-jokers. Uh, so many times I've seen double five wreck this sort of Of course, game. but like yeah. when you're considering it, you want to see where it lands to make sure it, it could land on the spot you want to yeah. cover yeah. or Ooh, it doesn't think... crunch you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm still just down. coming down. Yeah. yeah, now that he has the ace point made, you can never be countered. I had a look at hitting, but that was too, too much. No, I still had a five prime on the other side, yeah? I think we switch here. Uh, do you really want him to fan? I don't know. Not really, but uh You don't really want him to start fanning. Because then your board no, just sure, breaks sure, and sure. breaks and breaks. Then he doesn't roll double fives or double sure, fours or got something some dumb. Protection now, yeah. Now you hit? I think so. It's a free hit. It's fine. Nothing's going to break your position after the hit, right? You enter with 5-1, which would be, I guess, the worst. And you're still fine. I think I... Oh, he's still trying. Is he okay? I think he wants to have his board break some more, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe try to go fishing for another checker. Yeah, that's getting paid off now. Look at it. There's some some risk now. <clears throat> Things are looking brittle. He wants to fan. Yeah, yeah this is nice. Oh, just plays. Yeah, but he doesn't have to switch either. Switching is actually quite brittle. Maybe you shouldn't switch. So Black's gameplay here is to minimize yeah. the chance. If you of roll picking, like five this, four, this six makes four, it worse. six three, yeah, yeah. five three, next time you leave a shot, right? You're you're, you're right. So just just with, now five four and five three. If you just switched and played up, could have just cleared the point without yeah. leaving the shot. And For then sure. he rolls the five sure. four, and now For there's sure. a shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He left himself horribly flat. Yeah. So. You know? Why is he playing three out there and not from the back? I don't know. We could go ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. See what he... What, what were you doing? No, you know? ZZ, I see you. Yes, I see you. You want to come hang out? Or you got a game you wanna, to play, you huh? Wanna, you want to take my spot for a bit? No, no, Mark. I want to... Enjoy your commentary after. Ah. I see I shouldn't disturb. Base. No, no, no. If you're a. Uh, if, if you play. Uh, what? No, that should be a PR limit. So who, who can disturb, yeah? <laughs> if you play like a seven, you stay away. If you play a two and a half, you can come. Yeah, Whatever you want. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the fishing, yeah, yeah. fishing hasn't worked. But there's still one lone piece, I hope for. Now, do you hit here, or do you wait until he lifts with the two? before you hit um i don't know this hitting thing seems to have been working sure. you know he seems to be getting hit back and recirculating and double fives would cover double fours plays it's fine as fine. well it yeah, doesn't yeah. destroy your position but these are the things you know like people often don't have their settings on xg sensitive enough because sometimes these little plays are only like 1%, 2% errors because double fives and double fours don't happen that frequently. Sure, sure, sure. And the regular it's, it's, XG it's, setting for errors is set at like 2%. So it'll show up as gray as if you did everything just fine. But you when, do those... Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, you do that five or six times in a, in a, in a row and it makes a difference. Yeah, but yeah. it shows up as gray unless you adjust your settings. Sure. So like... I, I advocate for changing your your error settings, not your blunder settings. That doesn't really matter so much, but at least your error settings on the computer program to as sensitive as possible. Now, your your game's going to probably light up like a Christmas tree at first, right? But um, it's worth it just to pick up on those little patterns so you can start pointing these things out and uh -huh. finding ways to improve them. So, you know, because you might just be thinking you're doing everything good. 
when there are things to improve upon. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it right to still hunt here rather than cover? Yeah, okay. At a certain spot, no. But with this board destroyed like this, maybe. But you could see that double fours didn't play so well sure, after sure, this sure. sort of situation. I think I, think I might have given up and just covered at that point. He's hungrier than us. But I, I've just seen myself roll double five too many times in this scenario, yeah? That's why I would be spending time thinking about that number. Sure. So it didn't happen to me. Sure, sure, sure. And particularly in this sort of game, I can see it's good to have the sensitivity low. And then what I do is, is, is I don't look at my, my outside checkers and like count four, four, four to see where it lands. I go for the target checker, the black one, and then I count backwards nice. to see if it lands on any of these spots, nice. right? Nice. That's good. And it makes it easier for me to keep track of like where things are so I know like where my, my big doubles are going to land. Yeah. So do you hit with a six here? That's a question for you. Uh, now that there's happen. a blot there, I, I I would, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Broken down to a two-point board, right? You know, so you, the you're you not worried it. about anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would bring that into the five. Yeah, okay, so you've got the immediate... So if he hits yeah. me, I can slash again immediately and not have to, you know... It certainly not doing anything out there. It's not achieving much. These are the sorts of spots where you like you might even consider a two to yeah. one play, you know? Yeah, do you play to the seven or the eight? Because it's not an active builder. Well, the eight would give you double fours, right? Oh no, double fours is covered here, but fives ends up being bad. But this is a uh... okay. Here you go. Now you do the six. Yeah, so you're hitting here, right? Maybe. I mean, I don't want him to lift the guy. My, if I get that second guy, my gammons go from maybe what, like three, four percent to maybe forty, possibly. Sure. And if he lifts it, then this was for I nothing. I think it's worth a hit, considering there. And now it's gone. Yeah. And now you gotta now you gotta wait for two more aces to try again. <laughs> Let's not do that. Gosh. But he would have hit, but I wouldn't have been all that concerned about it. But yeah, you can lose a few games, but the amount of gamblers you gain. I, I think with the block exposed, it's good to lose the prime well, to hit. Especially yeah. when it's down to a two-point board, right? Yeah, yeah. If you had a three-point board or a four-point board with a blot, then, you know, the cost of getting hit goes up by a lot, right? But you're all... I agree with this play. There's a time when you have to give up and just make it. I think this is okay. Four and then five. Yeah. Yeah. I think four to three, surely. Yeah. So, I mean, the decision that you're 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 deciding upon here is like okay, like what is the cost of me getting hit if I leave a shot, right? And so if the guy is a really strong board, you play safer because the cost of getting hit is higher. Okay. When he's broken down to a two point board, you play more aggressively for the gamins because the the cost of getting hit is nothing. And spreading out was more likely for gamins, yeah. Even though there's very few gamins here, the risk of of it is. is of getting hit is very low sure, sure, just sure. because the, the board stinks yeah i see so the conventional bear off goes out a little bit yeah yeah it's always your board versus their board yeah. your board versus their board right so every decision in backgammon is your position versus theirs right sure. your board can look exactly the same but theirs can be different in one way or another and the correct play could be totally different because of what their structure looks like on the other side of the board nice. yeah hey six very good. And how's how's going, Victor friends? doing I'll, I'll uh, have a look at the Chris Rogers match. Come Seven to five. Uh, Chris is behind, okay. Yeah. He was out playing here. Let's see what his PR is. Oh, let's see what my vision's doing. My I'm vision. not showing it yet on the screen. We've I got, got 2010 vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. That's why I have to protect myself from the sun sometimes with these sunglasses <laughs> on stream. And I can't have them hurt these peepers, you know? 
I can barely see the section where there is PR, let alone read it from here. You've got good eyes. It's at a bad angle to see the, the actual writing. What are the PRs over Absolutely. here? And they, uh, you know? <laughs> Three, and the six goes to the 18. I think so, yeah. We've got a stronger board. Let's just try and move the men out. Oh, this isn't right. I think he should have gone to the 18 there. Okay. So three and a half to ten and a half, apparently. Who's on ten and a half? Chris, uh, as well, Ouch. what I've been told. Ouch. Well, I hope Thank he wins. The update, kind sir. I hope he wins. He'll be gutted to be playing at ten. Uh, and losing if you win you don't mind you so don't much. care so much exactly you don't <laughs> care so much if you win you can just or, or not in the ubc here you know you can just embrace the carter philosophy you know win the championship but play at 10 and be happy with that yes yeah, the, it's the the you only live once life you know so you could hit twice but i would make the five and the anchor i don't like making the ace point here you've not got enough material make the that. ace how Oh yeah, yeah, okay. You can't even do it. Good. No, yeah, you just make the five in the, the and then the forward one, I think. Yeah, just settles the position, stops any forward anchor's momentum. Good here. Yeah. You can't play down because if you oh you just have one more to play. Oh. Okay. He we must should... have been on the roof and entered. Yeah. We probably need to be watching the game closer. I still would have split. I think. There's a lot I of white material. Split, There's a lot of white material coming in on you. I think I still would have split. Hey, Black needs a forward anchor here. He's not got one. One. Make the twenty-two. For yeah, sure. And then six to five. That's that's that doesn't. Maybe twenty-four, twenty-three. Ah. Uh, you're not really going to be playing a 1-3 game, right? So what you're thinking is maybe he makes the 5 or the 4 and there's some sort of blot in the outfield. What is... What? I think I prefer Why would you? to be on the, four, the more forward point. Uh, Why would you make the deuce? I don't know what the deuce is doing for you here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what that one was. This is tough for White. Five point looks good, but it's expensive to get hit back. Ouch. Really? That's not in my repertoire. Uh, maybe you just have to make the... Uh, I like. I think I made the five point here. Looks black strong to me. Is good, so, so it's giving Black a good opportunity to get back in the game with a six here. Four two hits. Yeah. And now this is this is, a, this is very close again. Yeah. Five, six fans. There's another shot out okay. there. But there's only eight checkers in the zone. This take looks pretty easy. Yeah, I don't think it's quite a double, but it's good that he paused and looked at it. Okay, I, I would split off my anchor, I think. He's on the bar. It's a good spot. The question is, ooh, really? I would probably just clean it up and play 22 to 21. He's not got enough material here. Or 23 to 22, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, you're you're trying to blitz with eight checkers in the zone and, and, and three, three and a half guys already. back. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, I don't understand the not, game plan. No, agree. Don't hit again. Just make the outside point. Do something structural, something yeah, yeah. Uh, solid, some some positive gain and for the future. There. He's got there now. And Thanks for the love for of country. For Charles. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <For> Charles. <laughs> Gentleman, the king. Um, yeah, I like this play. You like the hit on the I one? I think so, because playing... But there's six... ones and twos. You got The guy's got you out boarded. What is this ace slashing yeah, but, doing? But, but I don't play, know. This play, is Playing to the six was kind of nothing. But this well. is not a, a thing, I don't think. I don't think that's a thing. I think leaving, you know, aces and then deuces from the roof for no reason... When the guy's got you outboarded and you're stuck on the 24, and if you get a third or a fourth guy back, it just can't be a thing. And I suppose he didn't need to do it for tempo reasons either, did he? But 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 you get just split because there's just not any sure. guys there to really harm sure, you, sure, right? Sure, sure, so sure, like, sure, where's sure. the pro? I can see the cons. 
Sure, sure. The no, pro is I hit the that. guy. Maybe just... he rolls sixes? I mean, yeah, yeah. there's it's not like many rolls play. that are gonna... Yeah. yeah. Oh, this makes the four, yeah? Uh, yeah. This is a great, great, great number. You just you squeeze. Have, you have got an option to look at your anchor, the but anaconda. this is better. This is much better. Yeah, you just squeeze the guy here. And black will be close to a cube here, I think, soon. Not yet. It's not there yet, Frank, I don't think. So he runs into the outfield. So let's say he does get to run into the outfield, right? Let's say white does get to run into the outfield. Running into a single shot, double shot. I don't like the cube here. I think black needs to get that anchor forward or something. Uh, especially that he's leading. This is, yeah. And, this is and a good number. These two men stuck back are a problem. If he could have rolled a two then or something, he'd have been in better shape. Two. Oh, you could make the ace. Yeah, I think you just have to make the one. At least you got a stronger board there. Okay, interesting. Yeah, nice. seems reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. He's got lots more play. Okay, good. I'm gonna take yeah, I might have been tempted to take that one. Uh, what do you think about the take? Do you have a view? It's stopped. It's stopped. It's stopped. Yeah. No strong feelings. <clears throat> I was just thinking more so along the lines of like what was the cube action the roll before if he's yeah. passing here right yeah 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 sure sure sure, sure. he rolled six three the guy rolls a little bit of nothing and then the game was over so but he could have had one to go before maybe yeah, yeah. i'm not sure i'm not sure about the uh decision here right so the board's still set up so let me uh see what i can put in here two guys back bro i want a break i'll take a break as well yeah right. sounds good I'm gonna go see what's happening on some of these other boards. We'll be back.
stuff that makes it so so only the proximity works. Well, no. There's two styles of microphones. Yeah. There's microphones that around the sound is microphones that are direction. So there's two different types of microphones. This is just a popper almost. Yeah. So like the pronunciation of the letter P shouldn't create like an air burst. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's what this does. Okay. We start again. So and we're, other, and we're sure back. There, yeah. <laughs> in the other semi-final, it's eight seven to Victor. Victor's come well, back precious. a bit. How are your rounds? He's eight seven up. How was your last round? <laughs> Sorry. So here we go. Nine six to Frank. Four six runs. Oh, he can't run. Well, this is the six for sure. Anytime there's like no spare on the eight point, it's just much safer to be on the yeah, eight nice. because the aces aren't so devastating because they break the point and leave all the shots, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like uh, Mitchie talks about splitting against a naked eight point, yeah? He does. Yeah. Stripped eight point. Ooh. That seems yeah. good. He's got the guy outboarded, so these, these, these attacks favor him. Okay, but he hits you. That's the downside. Now your and your position is is. That's uh, why you're not worried about getting hit with those the, the ace on the stripped eight point, you know. Sure. Okay, exactly. This hits and this double hits. I think double hits. I mean, bring one more down. And then you make it. That's a great number. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But White's got four men back, so. Is there a deuce? A no, do. no deuce. Okay, the three. Someone says there's a potential for an all-American final. Oh. That is true. Victor it, and Frigo would be... Uh... We've got a potential for a non-American final as well. There's potential. Oh, double fives. And... Oh, what is the race? Should we just be coming out or maybe we make the four? I like keeping the eight point here. So I think I come out. I don't want to. No, uh, I wouldn't consider yeah. pointing necessarily. I would either oh make the four or just come out. I think coming out's good. I think the eight point is a big asset here. It's holding most both of those checkers. This looks good. Black can just play a racing game, but I don't know. It doesn't look easy to bring home. I'll tell you that. No, sure, sure, sure. It was interesting. Well, okay. It's a chance to consider again. So we now make the make... nine? No, we're already on the nine. We make the ten and make the four? Yeah, I think so. Ten and four. I think so, too. It's actually a very good number. It's an amazing well, you number. Can't think about going to the eight, because then where's your, where's your next one? Must be. You can't play two down either. This is right. We need the four points sooner or later anyway. So just make it now. Six, two makes the five. Yeah, yeah, you don't care about getting hit back as white. That defender thing you'd prefer to have a little checker on a two or a three. Six one makes the Straight. seven. You do not hit the man. Just make the seven. That seven Just point. Leave is him a, alone yeah. and then we can start counting the race. Double threes. I think Black's probably got a cube here because White's going to be forced off that 15, five point and Black's got play. 90, 10, 12, 14. I double this as Black. You've got play. White's going to be forced off or forced to break. 125. He's up 11 pips. Only 11. Okay. Yeah, it's but he's got two checkers back on the 24, so it's way worse than... <laughs> then you might think. Looks like a good double to me. So what are his bad numbers, right? And that's that's the next question. So like five three plays, five four plays. That wasn't one of them, but this one's interesting. I think double twos I would make the deuce point. I think so. I think I think making the nine and then I would is too temporary. QB. Well, you have to break it, right? Yeah, exactly. And you don't have any flexibility. Like a transitory advantage. Uh, but looks, what are you gonna uh, roll? Now numbers leave shots, by the way. It, it, Six yeah. five is terrible, right? It looks nice. But only for that one. Yeah, go. I don't think yeah. that double twos was uh, particularly Wow, well he got a pass out of that, so well okay. okay. 
that's an interesting pass, perhaps. With that flat structure. That's where I wish we were on the XG thing, you know? I'm yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. very curious myself right now. Because everything really? is going by so quickly, and I'm not playing the game, so I'm not, like, sure, sure, sure. a million percent zoned in to everything I, I that's didn't, happening. I didn't like the, the way he had the flat structure there. But, uh, but hey, if it's double pass, it, maybe it was okay, you know? His board was uh, already a bit broken, though, so he would sure. be squeezed off pretty soon. The next yeah. shake was really critical. That was why I think it was a double to go before. One six, not ideal. Ouch. Six four. Yeah, I think that's good. Nice roll with two one. Although it does need to step up soon, but you can't turn down the four point. Yeah. Okay, Frank's thinking of cubing this. I think he needs a I another would, point. I would, I would beaver this. Frank, <laughs> Black needs another point here. I think. Um, I mean, this isn't like a great four prime. I mean, it's sure. not even in his board at all. There's no flexibility. Oh, yeah. okay, this is a good shake though. Yeah, who needs flexibility when you can roll double twos? I step up with one. I think. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just making the five points, but uh, making the five is a pretty strong squeeze. Yeah. It yeah, does it, leave yourself open to the super joker double six though by doing that. Well, I if he's going to do this, love, I would keep going and then step up with the last one. I, I, I quite like stepping, stepping up. up. I don't like, you know, I don't want to, because there's no fives and threes on the other side of the okay, board. So sure. you're stepping up and you're giving the guy fives and sure, threes, right? Nice, nice spot. You want to build and you don't want to allow him to attack you because that might give him the time to split. But this doesn't really offer a great squeeze. I, I think I like making the five points. Well, the five points, the five point, yeah? Sure. Everyone loves this ace hit nowadays. <laughs> Maybe the game's moved on, Justin, no? No. <laughs> you just got yourself the cube. That's what happened. Wow. I take. I take. I think so. It's a two-point board, right? I mean, let's remember it's I take. against a two-point I mean, board. You've got a... Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I'm not gosh. sure, man. Oh, well, that sure. ace hit cost him. That ace hit cost him a lot, right? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta toss this, this, this bad boy in there. Yeah, that, that ace right. hit might have just tricked him into the thing. Right up. Okay. Yeah, well, that's another reason not to ace hit if you're gonna pass after it. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting here. Do you s okay? Yeah. I was wondering whether you hit thirteen. If my to 11. opponent passes, I, l I love the cube. By the way. Yeah, yeah. I am a strong believer in that. The cube's nice. So I think for money, take. so for money, it's like barely a double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That feels so. Right. It's like, a, like a, a virtually got, a no double take for money he's only got a two-point board so at the score leading this must be a mistake to double yeah yeah it's an eight almost nine percent error to double and to pass it is a 40 percent blunder but maybe frank saw something maybe frank saw the ace hit and thought it was a desperate play and that the guy might just give up if it doesn't work you know maybe well he's playing the mid, and that's important you sure know? Sure. Like, uh, from my perspective as a money player, I have done many things that XG has said would be an incorrect play, but totally was positive equity in the situation. For sure. Uh, the craziest thing I think I ever did in a money game was I won the opening roll with 5-1 split. My opponent, who's over there, by the way, rolled 4-1, double hit me. I doubled from the roof.
MCG's wow. in the game. Wow, wow, My wow, friend wow. Abe the Snake is in the shoe. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I get passed. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. Everyone else looks like we're in cahoots. So we're like, <laughs> yeah, you know? Exactly. exactly. And then the other side that's still in the game never rolls again and they wow. everybody gets gammon. Yeah. The problem is you want to be invited back to the chouette, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm always invited to the game. <laughs> Your ticket's always good, yeah. Always the fun guy at the game, you know? Yeah, well we had some fun in Battersea. I enjoyed playing with you. That was good. Yeah. yeah. I missed that's those. A shame that's not happening anymore. It's Why fun. this one and not the four? Well the whatever. Okay, so black's ahead. Oh, that's great. All right. Now we can make the five. Oh, make the four. Maybe make the four just to keep your timing. Or you to can get double home. plot both if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I would probably make the five. And I, I, I could see it being a small error if you could double slot if you're just playing for the race, you know? Sorry. Yeah, I think you should be looking at playing for the race. Okay. I, quite, I like conserving the six there, to be honest. But uh, okay. it's an interesting one. <clears throat> Wow, that was a. I mean, that was a great cube last game to get a pass in that situation. Super cube, absolutely. Um, that ace point hit couldn't have been a. Especially a when thing. leading, yeah. Yes, I mean, okay. Imagine, imagine he takes right. Then you're just in a like, like, wow, what did I just do? That sure, sure, it, it, sure. It wouldn't take much to turn that game around and get and get yourself in a spot to recube, yeah. So getting a bluff double in when you're leading and getting away with it, that's good. Yeah. Well, you've got to give him some kudos for that. I like it when things work. They yeah. work. Um, whose number is this? White's 2-1? White's 2-1. Okay. Okay, we're considering the cube here. It's not a cube, I don't think, no. Five. Oh. A lot of pips. <laughs> yeah. Pips are good. Maybe play to the ace just to keep 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 the pips. I'd probably try to keep the checker alive. And just go to the three, but sure. I'm just thinking about conserving more sixes, you know. These things just always look too bad for me, you know? Sure, 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 sure. I know backgammon might not be a beauty contest, but the prettiest play often wins. Yeah. you got to, It's good to learn how to play ugly plays. That's a skill too. 3-6. Uh, I think we look at, we consider running here. It's good to it's consider It's only going it. to get worse. You don't, you don't pay, you don't... How much are you up? Uh, yeah, did he look at the, the volunteer? I think that was a pretty strong play, actually. I like the, I like the volunteer, because White's still got play. Your board is getting weaker, right? His position's getting yeah. stronger. Those are all triggers to uh, sure. consider the volunteer. I think payment... 6-3 was is about the best you're going to get. I think payment was due, and now we could be talking about him having to pay some interest. For this. Yeah, yep. for sure, right? Interest rates are hiking, you know? Did you exactly. lock yours in at 1% a few years ago, or are you <laughs> at wish, 6% now, you know? I had, I, exactly, exactly. I was dead chuffed six months ago to get stuck at 4%, Wow, which was not something I would have thought I would have said two years ago, right? But Two uh, years ago, yeah. yeah. What was it, like one? Exactly. And, you know, in America... People lock in 30-year mortgages. You know this? Wow. Yeah, I've been years. hearing about that in the States. Someone in the UK, a 24-year-old, got a 40-year mortgage recently. That's amazing. Opted for a 40-year payback plan. In America, that's like the common thing. Wow. You just wow. go, oh, okay, you know, I'm locked in now at like, you know, 1.5% for the next 30 years. Wow. Well, and all of a sudden, the now. world falls around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The air still it tastes sweet to you. you yeah, know? yeah, exactly, exactly. I like the uh, observers yeah. there watching in the room over the shoulder. It's like they're not playing doubles, but there's guys in there, you know? Shout out to Simon Barge for uh, Simon. He's watching us. He's, Simon's a tracker of interest rates. Or more importantly, a tracker of interest rate conversations. Uh, hello, Simon. Hope you're well.
All right. This is just, uh, I think this is just a cash. I know we've got wastage. Feels like a cash to me, even with that wastage. Yeah, I double, I double this rank. As X, you would say, double. I don't even think it's a pass. <laughs> I think we're about to hear the XG applause, aren't we? Yeah. He's ha. Uh, I mean, okay. So he's he's really bad in this race here, but um, he's bad off in this race. But that last game, I'm still thinking about that that pass there, that that forty percenter. Huge, huge moment, actually. Yeah. Uh, and a, probably a big moment psychologically as well. Yeah. Uh, maybe a fear's got some nerves. Well, you just give it one point away, one point away. It adds up. I mean, you sure. are trailing in the match sure, by sure, six sure. points right now. But pots like this can haunt you afterwards, you know, in the back of your mind. You, you feel you've dropped a take. Yeah. You know, you can't play backgammon without taking risks, right? Sure. It's a game of risk versus reward. And, you know, to try to play the game without taking a chance to win. You know, Victor said it yesterday after his win when he was talking about whether or not he was going to take the cube when he left the double shot and he was like, you know, if I'm going to become world champion, you know, you just have to play like a world champion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And not, not tighten up too much. That's exactly right. I would make... But I it's make easy to get nervous. Of course. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I played... Here. I tightened up in my first match. I played you know, bad on stream as well. You know, like I didn't play my best during my, sure. my other match. Um, it's really, you know, really, it really... Uh, it's actually quite a skill to play like you would play at home with no one watching, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or just being playing that way off the camera. Yeah. I guess these guys play enough that they're past this. But I'm not. Fours, nice. Yeah, that's a great roll. And a down. necessary roll. Yeah. White's the one under pressure. One three, okay. It's a cube saver. Yeah, very much so. I, uh, Black could get back into this game now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's an open five points, so I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. every take is pretty easy. Yeah, very much so. Oh, that's a great roll. So that makes uh, a yeah. dance by Black is interesting now with White behind in the match. Yeah, cube. I think we should see a cube here, and it could be a pass. You take or pass. Tough one. Twelve six. I think I'm looking to pass rather than. Yeah. Uh, here know. I'm petrified of him getting to ten, but I feel this is a pass as well. Two men on the ace. Yeah. Good pass. Well, we'll see. Set this one up in I like the pass. Well. we'll see what XG says. It's, uh, it's a fun one for sure. Justin's checking on his mobile. If we trust XG mobile. I, I don't, generally. Um, but it's the best we got right yeah. now, you know? Yeah. The one-eyed one man is an emperor in the kingdom of the blind. Yeah. Or two. Okay, good. I fear starting to put some pressure in. Get back into this match. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. I think you have to play two down, Frank. Yeah. Can't play too tight here. Oh, he was down a lot in the race. Oh, okay. Okay, he was down like almost 50 pips. Um, But he has the ace point anchor, you know, so... I think for money I would take this. I don't know about that the score. For money I think I take. Yeah, I think Black should make the four point here. Yeah. Nice play. White should be thinking here again. Oh, it was White. He's got some assets. He's threatening the six. Good. He's threatening those two blots. This is probably a take for Frank, but a good cue by off here. I like that. Nicely done. Wow. Now this is a this is a decision. Yeah, so it was a big pass. I, I think he hits the block. I think he hits the block and steps up here. 
So has he played any of the numbers yet? No, he's got it all to play. There's so many different options, but I, I, I think you hit the block. And then maybe the last three is a choice. Look, you've got the cube in and you're behind oh, in the race. So oh, I really like this. hitting the block. Uh, I, I really want to get a third man back here. Oh, it's tough. I just think you've got two, two, you've got the double cube in. This looks okay this, too. This looks good though. This is safe. There's so many things to do with double threes. Huh. Okay. Really? I quite like hitting the block. Are you looking at hitting the block, Justin? Did you have a view? I was looking at some squeezing sort of play. Sure. What, the bar? Making the bar and stepping up, maybe? Ouch. Yeah, it's tough. Very, very tough play. I would need some more time to think about that one. Four, so six hits choices. back. This is easier to find, this one. Yeah, you know, the, the trick is to kind of do mini rollouts in your head for each play. You sure, look at sure, each sure. play, you set it up, you kind of go, well, okay, what if he rolls a little like this? What if he rolls a little bit like that? And then and then what happens after I roll my next roll in a certain sequence as well? And then well, you someone, just try to yeah. figure out um, which spot you like to be in. If you have more upside in one versus the other, you know? Yeah, that's right. What someone suggested to me once is in those situations, just play out a few variations against XG just to get a feel. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do in practice. But over the board, I try to do it in my head. Yeah. As I'm sitting there. So you make this and come down. Um, this is quite nice. I would make the bar and come down, I think. Yeah. I like your play because he, him hitting it, he has to come off the deuce. Yeah. So there's a real cost to and him then hitting when he, it. And when he misses, you get maybe get to yeah. make it. And exactly. then that's the real this upside is, this is, is having the guy behind the five prime, right? That's a good play. Yeah. You know, six primes win games. So you go four, five, six, and then you're doing good. And now this is when you really payoff. win. Big this is when now. you're doing good. I might cube this. He already has, so you're fine. Oh, okay, good. I must have been looking at my phone when that happened. Uh -huh. Or two. I need a new roller. Is there, are you going to the break room? Oh. No, I'm, I'm good. I don't drink. No, I'm good. I'm good for now. A glass of ice, actually. Because I have a, a Red Bull in my bag. Thank you. White's in great shape here. It's not particularly gammonish, but is it good shape for the two point win? Black's position is just going to self-destruct, I think. White's really wanting to make that eight point. Ah, oh, and he does. Look at that. Fantastic roll to make the eight point. Super. Could have also Black's made the three, but blocking the sixes out is better. Yeah, I love blocking the six. I think, right? This, this, right? this way we get, we get Black to destroy his board a bit. We've got lots of time to achieve that. Just play to the seven, I think. I don't think we need a policeman outside. I, 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 oh, I don't do this. I think I play to the seven to want to make that three points safely. Well, this is good against some numbers like two six and. Yeah, I, I don't feel we need the policeman. You know, that's why I wanted to be on the seven now. Don't tell Sting you don't need the police. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, this this also works. This this. I think we have to hit here. Yeah, and there are some, there are some gammons as well this way. What about playing into the five? Yeah, sure. I think I like playing into the five. Yeah, okay. This I don't is know fun for it. Like what we're trying to protect. He seems a bit paranoid to protect on the outside, but he's got to bring those men in soon anyway. Right. Oh man, you kind of want to clean this up, don't you? Probably both the eight. <laughs> I know. Kinda but this is also this why up. I'm not sure he was doing the right thing a moment ago. Playing to the five looked much better. Wow. Two to I the mean, eight. I think I was also right. considering like what my life would look like if I didn't point on the guy. 
as well. Um, yeah. I was trying to consider that because you could lose here, yeah? And the yeah, other yeah. way, I felt like it was difficult to lose. The guy would have to roll an ace to anchor, roll another ace to uh, get so up This and is pop more flexible, out. this play, but I, I, I don't want to be hit. You, so. don't, you can't afford to be hit. Sure. Cost too much money to be hit. So maybe I do go both to the eight. Yeah, his variation you only uh, looks really, more flexible, but I'm not sure it is really. You only really die on like five, six, but even then not completely, although you hate your life. It's okay. Six is a... Uh, this is interesting. I think uh, do we volunteer? I think, five, think so. right? I think we should here. Because you get action on that man as well. Well, your board's about to break is the problem. Yeah, sure. But well, you're glad you didn't do it now, I suppose. I don't know. I mean, you still have to roll, which means your board's getting destroyed. Yeah, whereas I guess you're you dancing some sometimes. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, your board breaks like this and you, you're losing gammons anyway. Shouldn't get gammoned with the deuce point. I don't know. I mean, you, 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 you don't always get to hop sure. quickly, you know, sometimes. What, what sort of gammon rate are you putting here? 30%? No, not even close. Maybe like 10. Sure. If I'm just going to say something random. Sure. Like not a lot, but so it, not it, it really, could happen. Want, but yeah, not, you could fluke it. you start it. the game with 10% gammons, don't you? So 15. Sure. So 15. Maybe more than, yeah. I mean, this is definitely work. You're more gammon frightened than you are starting a game here. Yeah. Feels like it's uh, more than 10%, say. Shot time. You need some luck for this to be a winning shot. See, but sometimes it... you don't even get to go. And the funny thing is, is hitting the guy might also get you gammon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> when you got three, fingers crossed, you're okay. From that I would just go to the one. I mean, maybe not. I think, I think it's okay here because you're not you're not leaving double shots. No, well, yeah, nothing's gonna leave a double shot. So I think, but this leaves shots with six five, double six, double five. Uh, leaves a shot. Clear. This is also probably the gammon play y as well. Yeah, this is fine. I like this. Yeah, it's Against cleaner. the ace point, it's probably wrong, but with deuce, I think it's okay. It's cleaner. Oh, wow. This maybe is annoying. Fix. Uh, maybe... It's but... annoying because you want to start ripping, but you, you can't do this, right? I think clear the six is the play here. I think clearing the six is better because it will it's it allows for a faster bear off because yeah. you don't have to be so careful on your next rolls. And you're not... You're not really worried about losing the race here that that's really oh, remote yeah. so just looking to clear clear is fine and that that's that's fine it's it's pretty much in the bank now yep. whereas the other way we're still worrying about leaving that shot So we should save it, unless white rolls some jokers. That will help. Double threes, better than double twos. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very savable. The, the way he, he had uh, to... Is that last one right? I'm to bear sure. in. And, and, and start taking off. The numbers he rolled were not conducive for getting yeah. any gammons, really. So he tried to sneak a fifth one here. That's a good strategy for saving the gammon. But yes, of Ophir course. was on to it. Six Ooh, four. Time. No, it's for black. Oh, okay. The question is, do you run? And I would run. I think so because you're playing in deeply as well, and well, there's the, no win. There's you, no win. You're not yet. winning. Yeah, you get a shot, you hit a shot, you you lose, right? Yeah, anyway, absolutely. <laughs> maybe, so. so let's just get it over with, right? Yeah, and that that could have made a difference if he'd have stayed and the guy had rolled a double, he'd have been sweating now. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying no mass. No you mass. can see that. Look, look, look at the situation with him back. Yeah. Hey, okay, and that's over. All right, we've got a new score, nine to twelve, and a race to seventeen. Yeah, Frank's still trying. 
Yes, Probably I don't is blame possible him. with two one two one. No point in being a mathematician. Just roll until yeah, the game's exactly. over. There's, there's no bonus points for uh, playing on. I've seen people pause and take yeah. more time to think if it's gin exactly. than it actually rolls. Exactly, and it's and also it's not worth your brain power. Why do you need to use any neural energy there at all? You know, it's not worth the calories. Yeah. Okay, 12-9. Good match. Frank would love just to get a sweet one point here sometime soon. So his gammons are efficient to get to 17 easily. Whereas a fear six away was just a nice scoreline. 5-3. Two, three, okay. Come off with the two and make the new point. Yeah. Yep. Is he looking at stepping up? I don't think he should. No, he's looking at just going to the 18, but uh, structure okay. is forever. So you yeah, can yeah, make yeah. the structure exactly. for the long term safety exactly. of the position, you know? Exactly. I think at least. Yeah, that, that 10 points looking like a really good asset now. Yeah. Okay, oh. okay. You can do this too. This is interesting. Wow. He plays a lot of checkers quickly. Why would you go a heavy this instead of making... Yeah, you could make that point no and the three. We you know what make, I mean? We should be looking at the five or the three here. One of them. I'd make the three probably. I, I like the three and stepping up with one. I, uh, mind, I like staying back. Really? Yes, of course. Well, we're up in the race, aren't we? Yeah, but that doesn't mean you need to give the guy a 4-2 to point on you or something. Uh, I'm not sure... I think I disagree with you there, but that's okay. And then you, you don't get to have the spare here as well, you know? Okay. So the next time you roll, you might leave a shot there, you know? Now you've got spares on all the points. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But I, I still like stepping up. But okay. it, didn't, it didn't feel necessary. But if you're up in the race, stepping up allows you to race. With some... I don't think there's a cube here. Is that what you're thinking about? I don't think it's a cube. Two five. I shake. Just to the six. Yep. Okay, cube could come soon. Two six. And down? Still don't think we're quite there, I fear. Hmm. I don't know the race. Race is good for white. Double That's fours makes more. the five points. Yeah, there's nothing else. You could, you could run. You could, you There's could. a lot of things I could do. The, you could but I could, it, I could make the five out. and cube, though, probably. I think so. But running out gives you a cube as well. If you're missed. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm, if I make the five, maybe I get a cube regardless. I like this play. I like, making my play. Just uh, play out, you see? I don't know. Doesn't mean it's right. Just the five point is the play. five point. You probably have a cube here, though, anyway. I like this. Because cube. you were missed. But this, he rolls 5-2, you get a cube anyway after making the yeah, 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you stuck with one man back? Yes. I think you do, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Especially at the score in this position. So either route we're making a... You do this, I triple. <laughs> we should double this. I would triple this. It's a good play for Frank to find, uh, to try and hope it keeps the cube away. It's a nice play by Frank, that. But I, I, It's a great play But now by you Frank. have to pass, I think. I don't but know it, the race, but I think you have to. Are you taking this? But but what a, what what a, what a good play by Frank to find because this is. Well, what if the other plays? Things. What if the other positions a take and this one's a pass? How is it a good play to find? And I'm confused. I don't know the race, but I, I've got to double this. I, think I know we, this oh, for you have sure. To double, particularly particularly at nine twelve down. But I'm just complimenting Frank on uh, finding a play that's, that's making it non-trivial. Right? Okay, that's good. Is he, um, you got to whip it though. Uh, I think a fair might choose not to double here because of that play. And yeah, no, fair it, play it's interesting does. for oh. sure. It does a lot of provoking. It pokes and it prods. Now, what does Frank, what does Frank do with, with this clever play to stop the cube? I still think you have to pass this at 12, nine down. 
Doesn't look fun to me. Go off an up rather. I don't I know think. the race though. Yeah. That's the main reason we could do with the transcription here. That's the only thing I wanted for. <laughs> I actually hide the transcription and just use the pip count, basically. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Oh, uh, okay. Good try by you, Frank. No, well done. <clears throat> maybe every, maybe everything was a pass. Right? Be. Well, the other two plays we thought were a pass, right? We just didn't discuss this one. Probably yeah, Evelyn I didn't was... see it. I didn't see it. I, no. Yeah. It, Probably it, it, everything was a pass, it, but that's why I'm complimenting him on finding a play which maybe doesn't get cubed. Yeah, there were there were some sequences where... And it, it's not always the uh, strongest plays. It's just plays that cause it to look strange sometimes. But as you say, it might have actually been the weaker play. <laughs> yeah, if everything's a pass, then it doesn't really matter so much. Sometimes, you know, but like, I, and, and nothing would have turned it to be too good because he could have just like been missed and then yeah. anchored, you know? So Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it, it certainly paused him and made him think. So that's interesting. Yes, I like this with the blots. It's a good time One, two. to try. And the two still... S oh, yeah, the ace. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But that was the right time to try and blitz hitting the ace, I think, with the three blots Two, five? There. It is, you have to be lucky for this blitz to work, though. You haven't got the wood, but I'm just going to give it a try. Do you play out here, Justin? Maybe, rather than three blots. Down looks pretty strong. Hopping out, you hop into a double shot. I think you might be right. This looks strategically better. Here, if he Ooh. rolls the six, you might be able uh, to anchor. This must be a big take. Yeah. I'm not sure it's a double. I don't let this one uh, touch the table. Uh, he's, he's, at least he's stopping to take time. Good to do that rather than just scoop it. But I think this is a scoop. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this was no double. Just nine checkers in the zone, right? Yeah. And, he, and one of them's the ace point that he's made. So it's pretty. Uh, it's. it's going to so easily run out of material the here. Ouch, no, you, ouch. I would point on the guy. I think you have to now. The reason you double is to blitz. So. You, when you have the ace point, you have to choose the blitzing plays, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you have a blitzing Absolutely. position. You, your priming chance is kind of zero, so just go for the blitz. Oh, ace six. Okay, now, but he needs to get some material down. Boxes? No, okay. See, I, I hit the other man and come down with the four. You hit which man? So the four is clear. I hit on the um, the eighteen. Hit on the eighteen. The yeah. No, I hit on the eighteen. And the reason I do that is we're going to add out a material. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. And you're also getting ahead in the race by doing this. Five six. Okay. Oh well, the he blitz is on. It's almost number almost here. gone. Three That's two. Great. That's great. Blitz is on. Yeah. So we could point on the guy. I was also looking at the double hit, but I like making the five better. Oh, three, one. Need a two. Black needs a two. You've got one. Okay. But white's in a fantastic position. That saves a ton of gammons. Sure, it was a no double, but it's worked out for him. I do make the... I come off the 18. Yeah, I make this and come off the 18. Yeah, I like that. I agree. I don't want everything stacked there. No. At least his tight is up one checker. Yeah, it's but his terrible. ones and sixes are blocked. The other way, you know, yeah, the four is spot. duped, and That's you might get spot. stuck there. Looking for the bad numbers, great spot. Now, this is interesting. Do you need to do this? Does it give you much more? It's funny how it changes from play to play. One time it's like I'm gonna do the stacking play, and then the sure. next time I'm gonna do. Sure. So I don't mind like one play versus the other, but it's it, the style is a little incongruent sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But boy, did that play work out! I liked the yeah. play, by the way. <laughs> oh, good. I okay. did like the play. I I thought it was a little needless, but um, it was a lot stiffer the other play. I Talking like it. The guy's stiff. got no point more on the other yeah, side, yeah. you know. You're right. So just loosen up. Exactly. Yeah. 
Well, we're looking at possibly a fear going ahead now after this. I know, I know. It's terrifying. Um, if you're on, on Frank's side, you're just like, yeah. oh my goodness, what's happening here? I think ever since the person... I've been in this situation too recently. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ever since someone chapped in, it could be an All-American final. It seems to have slipped away from that point onwards. Yeah, yeah I know. Why are you jigsing the guy? <laughs> We had an Israeli champion not too long ago, right? So, Eli, yeah. Yeah, Eli. I Three years ago. I remember yeah. watching that that stream. That was uh that was a great match. He played strong great. Player. There, too. Yeah, yeah, strong. He played great. Strong play. Oh, this is interesting, really. I haven't looked at the whole thing. I'd be surprised if this is right. Yeah, this looks better. Sometimes clearing is right, but I don't think against the deuce. Six and the five comes out. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you could look at clearing the five, but I think this is probably better. Yeah, this would be my play. Just cover and slot the four. I would. I would slot the four, but yeah, I'm just and trying to way, make he's the boarding. To save, he's looking to save gammon as I well. In case I get a shot. But can yeah, he save the gamma naturally? I don't think so. Not sure. unless you get a shot. Sure. So in which case, strengthen the board. This is the same dilemma again. And yeah. so I, I strengthen. Yeah, you see, it's, it's like. <laughs> you, you're losing the gamma, so at least have something yeah. when you get the shot. Sure. So when you get a shot, you can win the game, right? But so... sometimes those decisions can be close. But here the gammons are gone, right? Yeah, you're, you're, you're losing a gamma every time you don't get a shot, basically. Yeah. Uh, I think I maybe keep the prime here. I go to the uh, seven point. Yeah, I think that's better. Mm. Okay. Ooh, okay. He's burning up lots of time with all of this. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay. Well, I love the way the Frank's charm. stepping into the situation. Six one. Two off. Uh, yes. Yes, for Gammon Vig, mm. I think. It's also, interesting, though. It's also fewer shots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I don't know. Pretty close. So 6-5 would, <laughs> would leave a shot. 5-4 would leave a shot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's immediately safer as well. Yeah, and you get more Gammons. Oh, okay. Leave fewer shots. Sounds good to me. Yep, there we are. Oh, there what we a... are. Look at you <laughs> doing it again. Uh, hey. Fantastic. I slot the three. You've got a crib sheet with what the future roles are with you, yeah. Uh-oh. This is interesting. You can't even take a guy off. You could, but... Well, shouldn't. yes, you could, I guess. You're right. Maybe it was better to take a guy off? Yeah, nope, worth looking nope, at. nope, not better. No. <laughs> take the other. It was maybe worth pausing and thinking about. Because you could leave a shot again. Yeah, yeah, the double jeopardy is huge. Frank, I think it's right to get the board ready. Yeah, yeah. There's some backgammons here. Six one, what a number! Yeah, what a number! Fun. You could lose a BG. Don't roll double ones again. Whoa. Okay, no BGs. Maybe you should give up on the chance here. Of what? Of getting a shot? Okay. No, best to stay. Probably. So how do you get off this gammon? I don't know if it's possible. He would have to roll... Uh, the last two are tricky. He'd have to, to roll a specific 2-1. Yeah, maybe this is better. It's scary for me. I was wondering about not risking the backgammon. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking that as well. Uh, another double and he feels foolish. Okay. 14-12. Wow. Well done, Afir. Very good. Nice Not action double. Not too long double. ago, he was 6-12, uh, to 12, right? This is the guy that made that drop, yeah? The yeah. nervous drop. I don't know if it was nerves. Maybe he just thought it was a drop. Yeah.
but, you know? Or maybe he's... he just didn't like what he was looking at, you know? But he's come back fighting. Uh, they took the break at the wrong time for It's Frank. better to make a 400 blunder by passing than a 400 blunder taking. I'll tell yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah. 400 blunder taking, you lose four points. You lose yeah. one. But, you know, sure. still it's... Uh, and the five comes down. You're leading now. We're definitely not double hitting on the ace. That's not a play. This is the best play for sure. Four six hits. <clears throat> this man who, who, who said Ophir will for sure be the next champion, his his prophetic words from a half an hour ago seem to be coming true. He's at this doing moment. great. Yeah, yeah. He's foreseen. I have a hard time maybe. saying anything definite. <laughs> Maybe, possibly, could be, looks uh, likely. We're looking know? for more definitiveness than that. Yeah? Well, three away, five away right now, right? So, I mean, his match-winning chances at the start of the game are 65%, right? So, he's a solid favorite just based on the match score. It's three away, five away is a really interesting situation. You know, it's uh, as the leader, it's tough to find the right time to cube, right? There's a... Uh, it's... it's your take point is in the number as well. Not your take point, but your match winning chances are in the number, right? So 65, 35. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, but it's tough away, to find five away, it's, tough, 35. it's tough to find the cube, you know? Really tough to find the cube. Well, you can find cubes leading when you win a lot of games and you don't lose a lot of gammons, right? That's the point. It's all about the gammons, sure. So racing games, holding games where you have a big racing advantage are spots where you then turn the cube when you're leading in the match, yeah? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, racing cubes are great, of course. Yes. Uh, Two-way volatility, not so good. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because the last thing you want to do is be in a spot with a lot of gammons but not a lot of wins because it doesn't take a lot for them to swing the... The equity in the match, just a sequence a little below average for you, a little sure. above average for them, and their recube point can be really, really quick. And then you're just sitting there facing a four cube, just asking yourself, why did I do that? And at three three away also, you're, you're happy to, to get an undumbled Gavin. That's quite sweet. Yeah, getting you know? to Crawford would be strong. Well, getting one point's for strong as well. So it's interesting. Yeah, getting to two cashing, away. Cashing's good. So it's a, it's a really fascinating scoreline. Yeah. But you're happy your opponent is five away. That gives you a little bit of a cushion. Do you have to pose? Did Victor just roll boxes? Something big happened, yeah. Oh, Chris Rogers just rolled boxes. Victor has three on the roof. Wow. Sorry, I might have to go change. <laughs> you might have to go see me on the other stream. happening. We were both <laughs> going to be avid watchers of the other match, but uh, it's a pleasure to commentate on this one. But we, we keep hearing shouts and screams in the other semi-final, and we want to see what's going on. We have three on the roof on this one channel too, you know? Yeah, this is strong. This is super strong. Okay, well, he's, he's, is, playing he's, actually, he's playing on. He's playing on now. He, yeah, he, he could win this undoubled game, and we were talking about sure. getting him to Crawford. Sure. But it's, it's one of those situations where he probably did have an two easy two down, cash. five out. We we missed. I like the five out. The five out for the flexibility of yeah, the position. Yeah, I like the yeah. five out. I like the five out. The five out is strong. You also you are a bit worried about being counter primed or having that counter prime. Five out is good. I like five out. There's some crunching for White here, you know. Because I like the... five out. And what a time to do it when he's got three on the bar. But maybe he's going hell for leather for the blitz. Well, he certainly I is. I can understand, you know. Um, yeah. This is a thing. 2-1 makes the five. That's really that's strong. He's getting himself to Crawford, apparently. He needs to enter. He needs to get men out. What needs to get men out? Three, okay. This is a good start. He's going to have to hit him loose, and if he hits back, he's going to wish he didn't have all those checkers back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. He if Black a rolls three. a three now, it's... Uh... It's imperative for Frank. No uh... three. Does he roll the five? The five's duped to hop out. Five, four would be like a perfect roll, but this yeah, but five, look okay. Look at this. Uh, look. This is how White can yeah, run into cool. issues as well, right? Don't roll fives. No, fives are good. Don't roll... 
Well, four, three, is three not down, good. four out. Must be the four out. You have to come that's out. That's life. You need that's some that daylight. Life. No matter what. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What does he want now? Double ones to switch. Two one. Okay. Step up, I think. Two down. I come and to step the bar. Up. I like uh, that. Nice play. Yeah, I like it too. I was fully focused on the risk. If I roll a six out. here, I'm hitting on the one. I'm not making the six prime. I think I need to go for the gammon. I think maybe, possibly, sort of, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, no, I think you're right. Maybe he's only got a, I'm he's not only, sure. He's only got a two point board, you know. And the five should come out. I this think. is a tough one. I think I come out. I don't know, because you want to cover. There's three on the bar. You know, now you've got, that's a bridge. That 18 is a bridge, which is really good to have now. Okay. Maybe play in or, or down, down, and, four down out. and out. Yeah. I would play the four out. It's interesting. That don't, back... don't roll double twos, I tell you that. I mean, for the other guy. <laughs> that back checker could be struggling, though. Oh, no. Oh, no, but this is the issue six. with that back checker. Look, it's only got a four to get out. Oh, so. here comes the aces. <clears throat> a fear should have enough movement here. Mm. Oh. Uh oh. One. He still One wins a good. ton of gamas Ooh, at B anchors, gosh. but he just starts losing games. Now this is interesting. Does does a fear have a double here? Yeah, he's doubling. Why? I like it. I like it. Why? I play on still. No, I think it's okay because he's, it's sweet to get to two away, five away. Two, though, yeah? yeah, but two away, five away is, is really sweet. I guess maybe some numbers crack. Yeah. I don't know. Four, three is fine. What is it? He's 75% at two fine. away, five away. So it's a sweet it's a sweet score to get to. I think I think white has some risk of cracking. There's, there's enough worry here. For this to be a reasonable cube. And how many gammons are there with the ace point made? A lot. Yeah. A lot. I don't know. I, I like cash. But this score line, I, I like, like cash, cash as well, but I, I don't know if I like cashing. But cash is king. Once it's in the bank. I think this is a good double. And. Uh, this is a Let's really interesting spot for Frank, but surely he can't take this. Maybe he can take it. I don't know. I, let me put this in. So, white is on roll. Or 12. we got 14. got 12 well, the, on the other side the, the and a race to this. I mean, look, if he takes it, the, the, the gammon kills him. He's 75% if he passes, you know? He's much worse than that here. It's a no double. Wow, because it's too good. Presumably. No, it's a take. Wow. Really? 250 take according to mobile. At the score. Wow. wow. This shows you the problem with the overage that he's got. Yeah? 35% gammons for the side on roll. So he does win a, uh, a lot of gammons, but he doesn't win a ton of games. So it, it's... Uh, he wins 67% no of the games. It's not good enough. Because it's oh, not good enough. And it's a take. Wow. Okay. Wow. I feel more comfortable Frank, seeing that. Frank is uh is is really, we, really you... looking. Yeah, you go ahead, you can play with it. Wow. Oh, the take is slim. Yeah, Seven fifty six, but he passes. Wow. wow, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Well, hey, that's a good that's a great double then. Great practical double, right? Hey, listen, oh I mean he's only sacrificing five percent, right? So yeah, very, very effective. Nice wild. Well done. So well now done, we're at two away, very, five very good. away. Yeah. Two away, five away is a very interesting score for the guy that's leading. He can take super, super yeah, deep yeah, in yeah. races and holding games. His yeah. take point, I think, is like 17% at the score, which means he can take like way deeper than you can for money in these certain situations. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what's your strategy, two away, five away? Are you as playing the leader aggressive? or the trailer? No, as the leader, you're playing aggressively to try and get an undoubled gammon? I am trying to make an anchor as fast as possible sure. so I can't sure. get gammoned. That's yeah, yeah, what yeah. I want. Like, uh, me getting gammoned at this score would, 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 would 
make me cry, basically. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, not like immediately, but like later at night when I'm so, back at home. So you're just playing, you're playing gammon safe, are you? Yeah, I, I mean, effectively. Oh, I gotta go see what's happening over here. Mayhem over on stream one. Mayhem. We've got a break going on over here. We'll be back shortly when uh, everyone gets back into the room. Got two away, five away coming up for us on this stream. Got very exciting stuff. I think Victor just got off of a gammon by one pip on the other stream or else that match would have been over. And uh, I'll be back when they get back in the room. No one, No one's back yet. Wow, the other match... Chris was a couple of rolls from winning. Yeah. One pip away, Victor saved the game in a Wow. Wow. That's effective. So, so don't waste your pips during those crossovers. Yeah, when they're sure. In, you know? sure. Sure, or, sure, sure. Or shall I say crossovers matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get off. ZZ has a bet on Chris Rogers, by the way, to win the entire tournament he got at the beginning of the tournament. He got Chris Rogers 300 to 1 for 50 euro, yeah? And I, I, I didn't place that bet, and I'm wishing I had. Yeah. 50 euro, 300 to 1 on Chris Rogers. 300 yeah. to 1, Chris Rogers. If I saw that line, I'd have bet Chris Rogers too. But I focused on betting on myself at 1,000 to 1, but that was money down the drain. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you'd expect, 1,000 to 1 bets to most commonly be. Or, right. or it's a mistake. <laughs> sure. One of the two, yeah? <laughs> Or possibly both, you know? You know? <laughs> a thousand to one, but you're on the commentary stream now. Yeah, you see? Exactly. So exactly. Have, you know? There we are. There we are. That Normally, you penny. have to be at least a hundred to one or, or better. <laughs> sure, sure. But the commentary has mainly been you telling me why my ideas are wrong. That, that works. <laughs> Maybe they were, the that, right, they were looking know? for that format. Who knows if I'm right? <laughs> we don't have the thing to, to check, so. Sure, 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 sure. Oh man, it's been fun. It has. It's been a lot of fun. Oh man, Chris Rogers, huh? Wow, he's doing great. Really exciting for him and for all of us. Wow, and there hasn't been a British winner in the World Championships. People say that Joe Dweck, but I've been checking, and according to the galaxy site joe dweck isn't listed as a winner so unless it was some some unofficial world championship there doesn't seem to be a british world champion i know that name but i don't know his heritage where he's from i don't know what tournaments big, big, he's won big, uh, but i know big money player back yeah. in the day big. all right i'm gonna go check over victor's thing until they get back yeah yeah i'll give you a shout
היה עליך לוקח את זה. לא פסיכולוג. Okay, here we go again. Chris is in a great position in the uh, other semi-final. He's leading 15-10 and he's holding a two cube and he's looking a big favourite for that game. But here we are in this semi-final and this is pretty exciting too. 15-12 for a fear. Okay. Yeah, Frank's going for the attack. That looks a good strategy. He'll be keen to slip a double in if it's Gammonish. But uh, I fear he's got that cushion because Frank is five points away, not four points. But it doesn't mean he's eager to take a Gammonish cube. So it's a really interesting scoreline, as you heard us saying. Yeah, I agree with Frank. I don't think it's a cube yet. Because he's five away. I think he needs more threat. Because he's also giving a fear an opportunity just to slip sweetly to match winning with those two points he gives him. But this attack is going well. Five to play. I think 13 to eight to keep the material there, Frank. Yeah, looks good to me. Keep the material there for the attack. Just go for the attacking play and you can worry about doubling if it starts to go well. Maybe a fear should run to the 18 here. Just you want to get a forward anchor. Yeah. As we heard Justin said, just fight for that forward anchor if you can get one. I don't like this. It's a lack of connection here. Yeah, good. Uh, this is interesting. Do you come in on the four and have the attack? I think you should. You've got a better board. And again, you're looking for a gammonish big. Three six is a great roll. Oh, this is an interesting one. I think eight to seven might be too much. You haven't got the wood here. I think uh, I'm not so sure about that play. Yeah, this is the problem. You see now, you're giving a fear a great opportunity. I think giving away the eight point there for this imaginary blitz was perhaps not the right strategy. Oh, still going for the big blitz play with four men behind. Oh, I'm really not sure about this. This is backfiring. But I guess the upside is he knows a fear can't double him uh, because he's got so many men back. So you get it that way as well. Well, he's, he's sort of stuck into this game now. Two-way contact, I suppose, is, is good for him in some respects. Yeah, I like that. Just keep material away from making aggressive points on you. Well, do you go hell for leather and come in on the one and hit? Maybe you hit the five point here. We've got an interesting game. Frank, Justin, was going big time for the Blitz, but as you can see, it the blitz has somewhat failed, but it's he's still fizzled. going for it. Well, I think it has fizzled. Oh, but I he's had still... the fours. I came back. Yeah. And the worst happened. It kind of has fizzled, but he's still going for the blitz. Though many would say with six men back, it's hard to carry the blitz off. This, some, many, many say. <laughs> many say. You, me, everybody. You'd struggle to find someone here that wouldn't say that. Wow. Yeah. 
I think he pushed for the blitz wow, too much. Wow, look at all the, look at all those checkers. And as I was saying, it, the That's good thing about Frank's position is the fear can't double, right? Six and four covers. Yeah, this is interesting. But it's very ge strong. Jeez, he's disconnected, right? He enters with both, everything is fine. He enters with one, everything is also kind uh, of fine. Whoa. Could this be a double with I don't six know, we're men putting back? It in. I'm taking a picture. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. Let's I'm see what certainly, our computer I'm overlords I'm certainly say. expecting a fierce to take this cube. This would be an amazing sugar cube if he passes, but I, 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 wow. I think this is no double. Yeah, I think it's no double. Oh, when, when the guy has like seven men back, you know, it's, uh, sure. it feels... Sure. I mean, it feels a little light, but yeah. um, at the score is, is like where things become tricky. Yeah? yeah, not with seven men back, surely. So for money, this is only a 10% no double. Okay. So at three away, five away, yeah, right, which could is what swing. this is. Could swing into it. Double five is a great shake, though, to bring material around. Only a 5% no double, but the take is, is, yeah, let's is, have a look is at the easy equity. peasy, yeah? What's the equity on the no double? Okay, uh, uh, 54. 50, yeah. Oh, no, it's a big blunder. Well, it's after a, a no double. Oh, no, it's 54 yeah. million yeah. points to no double. It's so it's okay. Yeah yeah, 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 okay. I mean, it's... Well, I was right. When but, you start um, looking at it and you go seven guys back, like, you can't even make a... You can't even make a five prime right now, sure, you know? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, it's pretty interesting that it's that close to being a double. But but so far the rolls he's had to enter are bad. He's on the twenty four twice. Yeah. And Frank, okay, two that, one. That double five Frank wrote roll to get material around. I was think such I just come roll. up to the edge, maybe. I don't yeah, know. I think so. I Nothing think can really fight. attack me. We fight for the twenty two. But agree. maybe not. This just seems okay as well. Now you've got two guys looking out. Your double sixes will play better this way, I think. But I'm not sure. Uh We've got the whole thing to play. I think we step up, don't we? Oh, no, he's playing. Okay. Two forward? I don't think so. I would come out, I believe, with just one guy oh, yeah. to the, what is it, 16? He doesn't need to And safety. keep the checker on the 24, Yeah. just in case he rolls something dumb. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have everybody in each quadrant. I'm not overly concerned about... Hmm. Six threes, tough. <laughs> so three here and then six out. I think three to the seven is okay. Two one's interesting. Do we dare hitting? Maybe we just move with the only only block we've got here. I don't think we can we can split the anchor. I don't see the hit really. I don't know what What's we're this? achieving by hitting. I don't... Ah, this seems too loose. Um, I don't like this. I think I... this is a good play actually. Oh really? Yeah, the ace needs to come off the anchor. Feels a bit loose to me. We've got a six. No, I would split though. I like the split because now you give yourself more numbers to hop out and make that okay. the outside yeah, anchor, okay. right? You okay. get fives and sixes to hop out. I I think that his original play looked really strong on on looking at okay, it secondly. You know, I thought it looked a bit too loose. Because there's there's blocks. not many material much material in the zone and the tempo sure. with the hit and maybe he hits you but you enter with the three instead yeah, you know okay. you've got a better anchor interesting i worried about the blots but uh yes okay. i would worry about the blots as well i mean you make a valid point um uh six is interesting but after now. he set wow. it up it looked like the best play to me yeah be back yeah yeah <laughs> you, i'll hold it while you uh the other semi-final is Paul, Justin's attention in. The crowd are really excited about Chris Rogers getting to the final, and he's very, very close to beating Victor. So it's pretty exciting. Ah, uh, five, four. Mm. 
Yeah, this is a good game for a fear, I think. Ah, this is interesting. I think I run out to cover that. Yeah. I think that's the right way. I think that's right. You're not really under danger of being attacked. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I think you get fewer. Look, there's loads of returns on you. I think it's far better to run out and make the 17 point. This looks a bit short term. You've got so many uh, counter attacks to you. I think this is the right strategy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got a couple of rolls, but this looks better. Now maybe Frank can hit, and then seven to six. I think it's got to be the right strategy for Frank. He's got the golden point. He's holding the five point. Oh, I, 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 I would go seven to six here, just because then you've got two builders. To, I don't know why you're doing that. That makes no sense to me. That ace. It doesn't improve your position at all. Yeah. And now we can make this point. Last one's a bit nightmare. I think you have to play timidly like that. Oh, that's interesting. What does that do? Yeah, that looks good. Now the question is the last. I think you probably have to play the last one in. Because you're opening up too much with blocks if you don't. And you're certainly threatening for gammons now. White really needs a deuce. Ah, good. It stayed on so he gets a chance to roll again. That's great. The one's a pain. But just hit with the two and worry. But you, you have to come in with the two. Uh, and then... I think you count shots. It might be eight to seven. But you've got to come in with it. No, I don't think this is right. Don't think this is right. You don't want him to be threatening to make a five prime or hitting you with it. So he's just going to hit loose on a two. He's going to hit you loose with a two or a one. I'm sure this is wrong. But he's got two one to play. Good. You have to hit. And I think eight to seven or three to two. I think I marginally prefer eight to seven here because, yeah, good. I'm really glad he hit on the deuce. Five. Yeah. You just need to do it all again. But look, you know, yeah. interesting what the ace would have been. Could have even been to have hit by Frank. to enter immediately. Yeah, oh, he's already had that issue once. Yeah, entering here is super important because of that lot as well. Oh, that's a roll. It's two of them. Uh, the I think eight to seven twice. Yeah. Safety. We like safety wow, here. That's, that, I mean, that's a, that's a real swinging play, that. Wow. Two, okay. He has an ace. That's the last one before having to leave more shots. It's to be. We're not, we're not in banana split territory. Interesting. I think I come out with the six. Yeah, and I the think six I comes just out. plot the um, slot the four. No, I, I keep it moving. Oh, really? I think so. I mean, the problem with slotting is that what are you covering? Yeah, yeah. You can't do anything. Whereas at least splitting here, you're uh, yeah. you, you, you could make it, for example, or get that one safe. Or at least and, and the other guy's stripped, longer. so you know him hitting. You might get some returns. Yeah, okay. and the problem is you might not be able to cover the other guy, and it could be there for a while, yeah, yeah. whereas this guy could keep moving. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, I think man, that match over on the other team. side is wild. It sounds volatile games, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Chris uh, Rogers was one roll away from gammoning Victor for the entire match, and now he's trailing. No way. Yes. Trailing in the match. One away, two away Crawford right now. Victor's on the Crawford game ahead. Yes. Jeez, Chris is going to be sick. Oh, he slotted. No. Why would he slot? Double one again. What a double one again. Double ones again. It doesn't play as well. Yes, it does. You just move those three in unison, I, I, maybe. Oh, no, I like this display. Stepping up is great. This play, I'm uh, Yeah. 
Because you can good. you can hop out. Oh no no no! I don't no, like no, this. No no, no shot. Up. We don't need to be hitting here. No we shots. Just need to be. Yeah, this is good. We just need to play around safely. Um... Okay, this is a great number. The four does this, and the five comes out. Yeah, that's a good roll. That's a good shake. The pressure's all on once again. Well, this is a good game. Both matches. We've had incredible games then. 3 2. Yeah, I think we lose that. And how should be Black be playing? Uh, Black can play into the six. I think yeah, that's got think to be right. To. No shot. got action both ways. Because Black will hit loose like a shot oh, if he can. Hold on. Oh, they could have come out and made that point, right? With the 5-4? Yeah, maybe that would be better. I know who Morton Holmes rooting for as the bookmaker. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think he's rooting for the 35-1 to guy. What do you think? <laughs> Versus the 300-1 to guy. What do you think? Morton Holmes still here, you mean? Oh, yeah, he's, he hasn't not, left the country yet. Yeah? a flight. <laughs> You'll find him in Argentina. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, 6 1. You got to kill the guy, yeah? Ah, uh, I feel sick for Chris. He feels one roll off. 15 10. One pip. So, how did it go from 15 10 to 16 15? Was he, just, was he backgammon? Just got gammon. Was it backgammon or gammon? Just got a gammon. He just got gammon, yeah. Wow. I must have misread it. I thought I thought Chris was fifteen ten at one point. I think That's he it. was. And then quick some quick games in the gammon. Ouch. Chris will be so sick. I really want him to win. Gosh. Six five's a great That's number. That's a great shape. Two one is less than ideal. Uh, uh, I would do two one. here and then one there. Yeah, duplicates twos. So yeah, that's exactly. Then they roll double twos, right? <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought I did it. <laughs> Four five's not a good number. Not at all a good number. Maybe it's just two in to go quietly, but then how's he getting How out of get it home? next time? Yeah, maybe he should be playing 4-5. Uh, this is bad. Why, why would you do this? If anything, you do that. I, I think this is the other option. And this is the yeah. right play, I'm sure. A three. And uh, what's it's the two? Two keeps moving. I think so. Because you've got no other good two. Hey, this is, this is pretty exciting. A fan. Frank's in a great shape now. Double twos make wow. the two. He's got one more to play, and it's pretty force. We're not leaving like 800 numbers. So listen, we could be looking at both semifinals where the trailer gets to 16-15. At the same time. Yeah. Virtually. Gammons from both semifinals trailers. The two Americans. I would slot the bar. Yeah, definitely. Go for it. There's a blot in his board. You make it. You don't have to worry. Wow. And then you can go fishing. Don't don't put the Americans in a corner. Look what yeah, happens. Nobody puts baby in a corner. <laughs> nobody. Wow. And he can't even cover it, right? Now he, but he wants to lift it, doesn't he? <laughs> I leave every oh. I was think, I think it Yeah. How big to play the one? A lot. Uh, I mean, do you play to the midpoint with the one even? Why you this? could have done. You could have played. Could this, have played to this, the thirteen point with one. This is too strong on double ones. If you ask me, I don't know if I would have done this because he could hit two yeah, and cover. Yeah. I, I quite like playing to the thirteen to get all the coverage there. Oh, he has the two. Good. So I, you have got oh, gammons he's here. He's hiding about the gammon. I think you should go for it. Oh, he's two Frank, you, this looks you strong. You got a four and a this two looks point so block. So strong. Must be right. Look and at now, those blocks and, and there. now you want to cover the seven and leave the guy yeah. on the one. You're, this is the blood you so wanted earlier. In I want match. blood, but now he could lose. Look wow. at this. Wow. It had to be the this, right this play, though. But a dance is bad. A Two dance one. is very bad. Oh, my it goodness. He six. had it locked up the, the win. Six. And no, now he could lose good. three, and the four splits off. Uh, he needs wowie. a 5-2, five, 5-6. Five, this six, is amazing. Five, oh, my three. gosh. At least he gets to lift one of the guys. I'm wow. lifting the guy on the seven, I think. Three. 
Wow, this is this is very exciting. Jeez. Six four would be the nuts. Uh, yeah, six is six is enough, close enough to being the nuts. What happens with this one? It can't move all the way. You're you're crunching, aren't you? Have you have to go to the one. I think. I think that's the only thing you can do, right? Is go to the one. one two. You could play one, and then what? Then then you got double shot, so you have to you have to play to the one. Although, do you want to duplicate threes? There is a play to play this one because then it duplicates threes. I know it's threes and sixes. No, threes and fives. There's three. the three. Uh, but the, ga the gammon's the less. I being hit on the ace. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, man. I don't know what the two is there. Uh, maybe one six safeguarding, yeah. You can cover with five six now. Double ones, Whoa. double hit. Oh, a single hit. And now he needs now he needs a fan followed by boxes. A, boxes yeah. or, a, well, a loose six. six. A, 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 just a six will give hope. Yeah, no swing here. The six is uh, critical. Six. Drum roll. Necessary. Or dice dice rattle. Fours are the killer number. Yeah. You want six. Don't oh, want that's four. not a one. He needs the other side. Five, Five two. two. Okay, he gets to hold the structure he, just to the lives. deuce. No shots. So six needed, four not. What a swing on this roll. Oh, double fours. Look. Whoever rolls the six first is definitely a four ahead. Four for white is terrible. Five, Five two, two is, pretty, is bad. pretty bad as well. Oh, that's bad. This Black's could get now him. rolling for gammon. Yep. Gammon on the five. Four Ooh. two fans. White needs a six and a lifter, probably. I don't know. Uh, I'll take double. I'll take six five two. I'll take any six. Six four you'll take. Six, six two. two. That's a strong shake. You just lift. 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 Don't, don't think, think too long about this one. You might trick yourself into doing something. No, no, no. That's terrible. He's on the roof, surely. Though. What? That's surely that's bad. Surely, surely you have to lift here, yeah? Yes. My heart. Wow. <laughs> I've had two Red Bulls this morning. I can't take a play like this. Wow. Neither can a my dance, friends easy. A dance is huge. He, six one. Six one. He gets now. The is this the? Does it anchor? Yeah. I was oh. wondering if it could be the hit. CZ. Are you, are you banana split in here? Are you going Sander mode? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the G's. It's an option. It's no, an I option. don't think so. I think you lose anyway. It's a great shake. It's actually a pretty good roll. Are we playing legal oh, it's a great shake. I don't, we didn't agree. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we never agreed. What's the, the decision about? I don't understand. Is it he had to hit the guy with double threes, right? What happened? Is that illegal? Yeah, it must have been. He must have hit both. He has to hit. It was double threes. Yeah. It was double threes. Yeah. He has to hit. No. He has to hit both. <laughs> Yeah. And then he rolled 5 1, the number that would have missed had he played it legally. What is happening here? Wow. Yeah, it was, but there's, they're not playing it. It got condoned. We don't, this tournament is not legal moves. No. Because he picked up the dice. And 5 1 would have missed. 5 1 would have missed. It's the, it's wow. the swing number. Wow. -wee. Wow. No swing there, though, yeah? Wow. wow, you play too quick. Play too quick. Has it changed it? Yeah, it has. It changes everything. Yeah, because white misses. I think Black Zizi, misses, rather. ZZ Black has misses. a bet on Chris Rogers and Ophir. And they both didn't they made it's a, it's a crazy. It was forced to six hit the guy. Got, I think six in. I like this play. Uh, uh, I don't oh, know about this. this. No, bad, played though. a three to the outfield. What, what's he doing that for? Double sixes. Yeah, that's not no, right. I think he's right, actually. Double really? sixes, he's still probably a favorite. Yeah, you don't play for double six, Justin. No, no, you play to defend against it. If it's You're wrong. if it's the guy's only role that's going to kill you, you play to defend it. You've got to play for what's likely, though, as well, right? No, no, not in this spot. Because this spot, you're likely to just destroy him. Okay, so you so, should so have the, so a the, bit so, of insurance. So the one thing that's going to kill you, you got to watch out. You got to have yeah? a little bit of insurance there. Okay, all right. Absolutely wild. Now, it's not it's not a legal moves tournament. It doesn't have to be. 
It has to be condoned by the other player. Yeah. That's all that has to happen. If it's condoned, it becomes legal. Is it, yeah. is it Frank's responsibility to tell the other guy how to beat him? The other guy tapped the clock, didn't he? Yeah, so you hit the clock, it's the played clock. dead. Yeah. Now, before I roll, I can tell you of what, whether you did something good or bad. Yeah. But it, I wouldn't. Not of here, not, not in the final four. Of course, of course not. And, um, and actually, it's not about etiquette. This is part of the skill of the game. Well, it, and if you're going to be careless, it is an issue, yeah? It's part of the skill subset, surely, lack of carelessness. Wouldn't you say? It's a big swing. I mean, it, it's now... Oh, shot time. If he rolls a three, I don't think he'll miss this. Well, hit. let's hope he picks it up. <laughs> pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Make sure you do that. And now you go with everything. Oh, the question is, are, are you playing to win or are you playing gam and save? <laughs> I like this play better. I think this is right. I know, I know sure. you might you might get and hit. There are but... some wins here. Yeah, there are some. Yeah, Not many, but this there are better. some. You get protection. You know, though, though there's, if you rolls a five, there's some wins. There are. Okay. Six, one. Uh, it's very interesting, but I, I think you should just play in now. Uh, at the score, for sure. This is a wrong idea. Uh, you can lose a gammon here. No. Maybe. Actually, yeah, maybe you could. I, I think this is Crazier the right Crazier things have happened, for sure. I mean, yeah. who's to say you just don't roll boxes yourself here, right? I like this play. Me too. Four, one. Wow, that was wild. The double wow threes way. missed to hit. Wow. It was forced wow to hit. Way. And uh, brilliant that the 5-1 would have danced. I would take a hit. break after that, by the way, yeah. because I would be thinking about it and I would need to clear well, my head. Hopefully for a fear, uh, he doesn't know. Let's hope no, no, he picked it up. He did this. He showed him afterwards oh, okay. and was like, but in, and then, oh. but it was done. And they both know the rules. So why is Frank, I suppose Frank's pointing it out just to make him upset. <laughs> 15-14. Yeah. Well, I'm going to quickly have a look at the other game. If I were, if I was Ophir, I would take a break after that because it would affect my judgment, I think, actually. Imagine that, and then the 5-1 hits you. Who won? Victor is the victor again. Wow. All right. We are two away, three away here. Match to 17. The other one's finished, Justin. Victor I know. won. Victor is the victor again. Yeah. Wow. The champ is here. Wow, I feel sorry for Chris. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Chris Rogers. Wow. Wow, we he'll be gutted. He came so close. He's still got a second line. You know who I feel but... sorry for? Jason Pack. What? He bet nine grand on him to win. On Chris? Yeah. Wow, we at uh... one point one point seven. Wow. Wow. Just the this match. This was the race here. One point seven was the rate. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You would have bet that too, yeah. Uh. I, 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 I don't know what the matchup rating is what does 1.7 put victor at what sort of percentage i mean i think you bet a thousand you get 1700 right yeah but what sort of win percentage that's that's, what, that's that's a lot i think that's a lot a lot i think that's a lot, that's a lot. i think chris has got 40 43 44 percent yeah maybe i mean let's say there's like a three pr difference between them maybe right which could be about right yeah then he's still low 40 percent yeah yeah. Okay. So one point seven is a good bet. So yeah. we're at two away, three away. Oh, fear is leading. So that anchor, it has a lot of value for him here to not be gammoned in this game, to lower the volatility, to stave off any potential cubes that uh, Frank might have. So what is this five one here? I think he needs to come out. Ah. Uh. He yeah, can't be so. attacked. He doesn't want to be attacked. He can't. And he doesn't want to have Could it be slotting the five? Three here? Two blots? Not for me. I mean, it, it, for money, I, I like it. At the score, I don't love it. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. But it sort of did nothing there. Um, yes, I agree. It's very tough. I mean, uh, I don't even know about this three. Okay, double. Ooh, good. Uh, double and for I think sure. we let this go. Probably let this go. Maybe not. You so, got to pick black like has everything. Blue has... Uh, sorry, white has nothing. Uh, White's think, on the roof. I think let this go. You know, let this go and play a 50-50 game. White's achieved nothing. Black has got 10 men in the zone. Uh, it's looking like a really tough game for white to come back from. It, even forgetting the... Um, the gammon risk that black's definitely got. It's a great cube by black. Yeah, he's given it some solid thought. That's for sure. Good. I think it's a good and pass. Uh, I like. I like that he's pass. Giving it up. DMP. Nice pass. We got ourselves two away. Two away now. If you're not interested, it's no problem. Ah, uh, maybe they're now having a little discussion about um. <laughs> they want a break or. Uh, maybe they're talk going some outside. Money. They're maybe going they outside. talk some money, you know, now so. that they get to DMP. I think so. I think Essentially so. DMP. Two away, yeah, two yeah, away. Yeah. Usually see very early they can have a, they, And they want to have that chat away from the cameras. Yeah. No PRs. No, not on stream two, only on stream one.
Just stay Hi. Is, is somebody transcribing the match again? Online? I don't know. There's no camera, but. Uh, no, I mean, I mean, I'm in the chat. No. I'm in the chat to me. No, there's been no. There's been no uh, we've had no XG. Yeah, no, no, I know about you, but people that are watching. Who knows? I don't know. You, you can go on and ask. Yeah, I don't know. And you want the, this box, same place as yesterday? What was side was it? It was um, over here. It's on the outside. Doesn't matter at all. Just let, let me know
Yeah. 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 So this is not the line for that. So how much is it? <laughs> are we are the, is the are the mics on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is very stressful. <laughs>
But it's down to what uh, DM base. Oh, no, I know, but it's interesting. Are we still live here? Because if so, I'm going to say what I'm going to say anyway. That was some wild ish. 15, 15, 10. Absolutely wild. Absolutely I'd love to wild. See it back. Well, I will go and see it back. So there were some technical. Not technical issues with like the streaming setup, but like some technical issues with the checker play at the end that really cost him a lot of equity when it comes to the containment. With Chris. Yeah. He he had a guy behind a four prime, you know, he rolled a six two. He may he had to jump off of his anchor. He did, but he didn't cover the outfield quite the way he was supposed to by continuing oh, really? to go for the coverage. Victor rolled two five. He hopped out. Chris got lucky. He rolled the number to hit at the edge of the prime and didn't leave the checker there to try to make the five prime. Ouch. He was uh, leaving worried. it at the edge, at the, yeah, uh, the, yeah, back, at the of back of the prime. Yeah. You should leave he, the back often, he, yeah? Yeah, well, you need to extend the prime because that one last guy is 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 a is a wiggly fella, right? Yeah, 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 of course. If there's two guys back there, you don't necessarily have to worry so much, right? Because it's harder for both to get out. But with one guy, you need to take chances for the containment, right? And what was Victor's home board like? Was it enough? It was, it was, a, five, it was a five point board. Okay, so there's a worry to get hit. Was that what? But, but yes, yeah. but I mean, but it's four numbers on the roof. But, but, yes, and we're also talking about the persisting problem of trying to contain a checker behind a four prime instead of a five prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys on the roof. What better time do you have yeah, to make the, the five time. prime? You than just then. you, you, you should leave you just, it there and, and suck yeah, up the four Yeah, then you just shots, play the yeah? outside checker. Get yourself some covers, right? If he hits you, he hits you. That's part of the game. Yeah, but agree. maybe he just rolls a little below average. You roll a little bo above average. Yeah, you yeah, make yeah, the yeah. five prime. Then maybe yeah, the yeah, five yeah, prime yeah, turns yeah. into the six prime. And then you're the next champion of the world. You're, you're happy to pay off the four shots. I, I'm yeah. not happy to pay anybody. I'm happy to get paid. And the way I get paid is by taking the chance and making the correct yeah, checker that's, play. That's, that's backgammon, yeah. Exactly. You know, Victor said exactly. it yesterday after winning his match when he took this really volatile cube. He goes, if I'm going to be world champion, you can't do it without playing like backgammon. A world champion. And you can't play yeah, backgammon yeah. without taking chances, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. See that. There is no way to cause... knit it up. This is very experienced. Yes, this checker play is good normally, yeah? Okay. It's a tough spot. It's a tough spot. You're playing yeah. Victor. I mean, maybe, maybe also, um, and this can happen to a lot of good players. Maybe he got nervous just at the end there, of course. seeing ghosts of about course. the four shots, thinking, yeah. "I don't want to." I've be definitely knocked been out. in spots in tournaments and in cash yeah. games where it's just like, I, it's very difficult to be objective sometimes. I don't want to get knocked out by him hitting these four shots. But the thing is, yeah. you get knocked out otherwise, too. Yeah, yeah, of it, course. It's the same because thing with, with some exactly. checker plays in games where people go, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. afraid of being hit, so I'm not going to do this. But they don't realize that by not making the correct play, you just lose a different way later. Exactly. You just uh, lose differently. You get spots like this where the worst thing to be frightened of is being frightened. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like when they go, oh, I don't want to play this here because he might hit me. But you do this, and then the rigidity of your position yeah, yeah, exactly. crushes you. Exactly. Ten rolls. E e exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah, but yeah. And that's yeah, a good spot, as you say. He's on the bar. That's a great spot to slot the back of the two six three five. Yeah. No, it was already slotted with the hit. You just yeah. had to leave it yeah, there yeah, and try. But you, to make but it. you would often choose to slot at the back of the prime. Yes, in that course. situation. I mean, when he's on the bar, you would hit at the front of the prime, yeah, which yeah, is way yeah. more dangerous. Exactly. So why exactly. not slot the back? Keep it there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there were some spots there where where it looked a little bit rough. I, I didn't see the XG transcription. I was really focused on the board, but I, I just think it's. I don't know if, if they if they kept up with the oh, People are asking here on the chat about yeah. how uh, Phil Simborg is. I, I don't know. He I haven't left gotten any updates. Just suddenly. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, he, he also got sick a little bit when we were in Istanbul uh, doing doing commentary there uh, during the UBC. So I don't know if it's the, you know, sometimes just being someplace else and eating not, something yeah. or... People are worried about the hot. It's not too hot in the showroom. If anything, it's oh, a little it's very too comfortable, cold. Very comfortable. It's uh, the air conditioning is really strong here. It, it is. In fact, it's a bit to be cold. In here it's a bit outside. cold. Yeah. If anything, um, but yeah, I don't know about Phil. I don't know if I was cold before watching that match, but afterwards, my blood is boiling. <laughs> but no, I don't. Uh, I haven't. I have got no update on how he is. Oh, by the way, guys, smash the like button, please, on this video. Um, we've got two-away, two-away coming up. 
This is uh, the final four undefeated players. Now there's only three left that are undefeated because Victor just won his match. So please smash the like button. Um, I've just got Phil to smash it. There we are. And people are doing it. Fantastic. We've Good. Got Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. They're coming back shortly. I don't know if they're discussing a money settlement now that they're at essentially a DMP score at 208 away. Well, well, listen, there's a good chance now for me to ask you how you approach 208 away. You know, what uh, are you looking to do? So if I find myself with like the slightest edge in the, the game, I double. I mean, there is a concept which I use, but I mean, I'm not a player of your stature, but I tend to wait until I can give my opponent a tough decision. I, I, I hate uh, giving my opponent easy decisions. Yeah, I so. hear you. Um, so there's a section about like this idea in Dirk's book as well. Yeah. Um, so like, yes, you can give your opponent a tough decision and you can get them to make, I guess, an incorrect decision if they're unfamiliar uh with the score you know right yeah but like here at this point in time like where we are i, I don't know if anyone's going to be unfamiliar with two away two away this late sure. Sure, sure, um sure. but yeah no of course people can incorrectly pass i mean your take point in a straight race at two away two away is like 32 percent right sure so but i'm, I'm just wondering whether yeah. you should whether where, i i, I sort there is of a point where you can drop 60 percent i sort of quite like getting near 60 and then doubling you know I, I I tend to just do it. As soon as you're ahead. So 55%, you're going to double. Yeah? 51%, I'm going to double. Oh, really? You're yeah, looking whatever. Like, away. I just have an edge in the game. Sure. I'm, I'm going to throw the cube. Sure. Um, you sure, know, sure, sure. And, and counter, you know, like, I've, I'm not going to, like, look at my opponent and be like, I can't believe you're not kipping me. You have an edge in this game right now. You know, it's like, it's fine. Like, sure. I just let them play and just, you know, hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, hopefully yeah, yeah, yeah. it gets to a point where when they like I, i've definitely played inexperienced opponents that don't know they should be probably doubling immediately yeah. against me in this match and they play and they get to a spot in the race and they realize that they have the cube and i'm actually not winning 32 percent of the time and it is correct for you to pass right yeah of course you of don't course. want to miss your market in these spots either and you don't want to be like in a super gammonish position where now is it more beneficial for you to just be playing on for the g I hear you, I hear you, but it, it's really nice to be one away, two away. Yes, I, I know you're only, you know, 68%, but, but, then you, but, but then you, you have feel to win like the next got a game cushion. as well. Yeah, I hear that, but you've, yeah, yeah. But I, I but, think but, sugaring to one away, two away is, is, is attractive also. But, but if they take and you win the game, it's over, instead yeah. of having to win another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I see MCG prefers to be Nord away, two away. Yeah, that's true, but that's not an option I'm giving Justin. I'm not saying to Justin, would he prefer to be Nord away, two away? But yeah, I hear no, you. No, but that's what he means. It's yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, if you win that one game, you prefer to have won the match. Yeah, I see that. I see yeah. that. Well, MCG, I'm being interested to know what you do. Are you doubling instantly? I would have thought Matt would, would wait a little. I would have thought he'd look to... I think Matt does what's right. Sure. Well, I, I, wouldn't, <laughs> On question, average. I wouldn't question that. Yeah. I've played a lot I, of Chouette with him, I, and I, he, I he's doubling him. very quickly. Yeah. 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 Okay. F if I have enough. an edge, I'm doubling, you know? Sure. Okay. Okay. I tend to wait, but, I mean, look, there's no question about the rank order of the three of us. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll get I'd a few rolls in sometime, you. right, and see how it is, and then just, okay, just... Now, what Let's about checker play? play? What What about checker play? What are you are you doing DMP, anything differently? Of course, of course. At the score, you know, especially like once the cube is passed, everything, every play you make is just to win the game, right? Yes, yeah, so you said Gammon wins. Gammon wins no. don't matter. Gammon losses don't matter. Every play is just to win. So but, the question you ask yourself is like, like what play is going to win the most, right? So like your opening strategy can change, right? Like, yeah. like the 6-4 opening roll, depending on your score, can change very, very differently, right? If you're trailing in a match and you need to make up a difference in the score and you roll an opening 6-4, you yeah. might choose to make the two-point because the two-point wins more gammons than splitting and it wins more gammons than running, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, if you're at like an even score, 
or many away score, you might choose to split, right? A more balanced approach. But at like a DMP score, 6-4, maybe you just choose to run because running wins the most games. But you're not DMP quite yet. You're probably going to be DMP. Yeah, probably. So, uh, I mean, are you I would making still the choose two to... points? Are nope. you making the two points? So go for an down point. It is the third best play at 2 away, 2 away, I think. Okay. Interesting. But I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I would let's run. see. Well, let's see. Let's see. It's six five. That's there's no debating. No six, debate five there. here. Okay. He doubles even as a dog. He just gets that out the way. Oh, there we are. Six two splits. We've got ourselves a game. Okay. Thank he, you he, out he, there for smashing the like button. Anyone who hasn't done it yet, please continue to do it. I would play. So he six, doubled instantly and when he was behind. When I play down or what I step up here. Interesting. Maybe stepping up. Slot the five. Yeah, I like this play. Four six oh, hit. I think this is great. You just and hits hit twice. Both. Yeah, you hit both as white. I mean, you could come down and make the eighteen, but I, I think, think you can make the eighteen next roll since he's got two on the, the roof, possibly. I mean, yeah. yeah. This looks solid. This looks good. Maybe not. Oh no, it does cover it. I was great, like, yeah. oh no, we missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think it makes an next roll. And maybe it doesn't, <laughs> you know? Six four hits. But this is great for White. What a dream start for a fear here. Oh, two one, okay. That's great. That's great. So black's having to go defense. Big time. One two. Uh, maybe do you go six to five? I mean, do we want the four one here? Um the, I, I contemplate. I, I like the anchor on the okay. twenty-one. Okay. I don't love, obviously, the anchor on the twenty-four, but I, I had to do it. I, I, I don't I intend might have, on keeping I, it. I might have made the twenty-three and played six-five to slot here. Uh, uh, Perhaps. Seems fair. Uh, yeah, I like this. Just... This is okay. He's got, this is why he's got the twenty-three anchor. Oh, okay. So Frank Frigo has only forty-six seconds left. Oh, I didn't realize it was that close for time. Wow. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't aware. I wasn't aware either. Um, needless to say, Ophir won't be running out of time unless he forgets about his clock. He's got nine minutes left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think Frank is experienced enough. So we have a three-four, yeah. Three-four, whole thing to play, yeah. Wow. Uh, you could, you could, mm, yeah. Uh, I'm oh. not so convinced about this. I'm thinking about slotting the two. I think I like his four. You could come out with the four and play the three up if you wanted. Uh, interesting. Maybe this might be okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Looks a little inflexible. I don't like it anymore. No, oh, it's suddenly gone down in value. Two out here? Could be. I know one's coming out. I like the outfield control for two out. This looks good. Yeah, this looks very good. We were taking outside prime. So it's switched now. I think Frank might be favorite again. Mm. Uh, run will be good here. Yeah. If he's up right. in the race, yeah. it might have been better to come up one more. Yeah, yeah. Has a, the freedom to see some the daylight. to come out with yeah. a, a six or something. Like, like we're seeing uh, this... Frank do here. Two six hits. Wow. It's good. It's a good number. Nice shot for a fear. Five four. This hits back. Oh, this is the proper DMP battle now, yeah. Oh, three six. Okay, we just come out. Yeah, I think we j we can just come out. You're think, up in the race. Oh, maybe there's three I think, numbers hit you. I think we're up in the race, so let's take that chance. I on. would just come out. I think so. Eight to two is uh, not in my wheelhouse. Why it's ahead? He gets missed sometimes, you know. Even if it's only eight shots that miss, this is still good. Yeah, yeah I don't eight like to two this. is not a play. No, I think that's wrong. Because he could just start priming you and making points in front of you, yeah, and yeah. then start pointing on you. Yeah, you get hit was, outside. Uh, that, Five that three would have missed him, by the way. Sure, 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 sure. Not that I'm like keeping track. Oh no! And then he fans, and now he has a blot in his board as well. Five two makes the five point. Well. It yeah, definitely he, he makes had, the five he, point. He had a real no, chance there. No, the five, yes, that five, that, that one. Ah, uh, this is. Uh, he had a chance there, didn't he? He made a Two mistake. Two six. Now he's got the deuce point. Congrats. This is That's not strong. He needs to Black's make the in, seven. Black's in great position. 
Are you, I think you're, you you hit an upgrade hit. eight to seven, right? Yeah. An oh, anchor. I prefer eight to seven. I don't mind the anchor. I uh, half a roll. I play eight to seven here. I think. I think it stops a lot of nonsense when he rolls a two. But I, I, I do kind of like the anchor, though. I know it does have less value at the score. I think less funny business happens. Sure. Maybe you, you know, okay. And it's better than the hit back. Yeah, I, I mean, I was considering six to five, but <laughs> that, that, that stack with six checkers on the six uh, feels a bit funny. I would have considered it, but uh, he's got plenty of time. Yeah, he can slow down here. That's Double the four, key so that thing makes he the five. Do. Thinking back to that running play he should have made. It's pretty sick. Six and three down or up? Uh, I think stepping up. What's the race situation like? I think he's got control of the outfit. I outfield think white here. is up. He's got oh, look, no look at this. That would have played funny, huh? But I, this, this that way. would have played funny if you just came down. <laughs> but this is great because he's got outfield and control here. That. I'm yep. not so sure. Is that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That's to. fine. No, no, it's safe. There's no shooters. That's right. And then two to one. Oh, yeah. No, six to five is better for sure. Five, five. Come out, control the outfield. Yeah. One, yeah. two, and three. And one more, maybe just down again. Uh, I would leave that guy I there. I like this play for the attack. I like this play. We've got enough policemen and we can. Uh, is, I, I, I would good. be aiming at the outfield a bit more, I think. Because you have more combo numbers to then make like the nine. Yeah, that's a nice roll. That's a good point. That point's got relevance for sure. One four, okay. He's got the full prime. Interesting. We've got the full a really board good game here. here. Double wow. thick fit, build it in, that's makes the two. That's an absolute crusher. Wow. Wow, we. Yeah, just disgusting. I think he wants to fan. He doesn't want to enter and start yeah. breaking his board. He wants to keep that just in case he, uh, just in case Black rolls something yeah, dumb. But Frank, quite rightly, is insisting he rolls. <laughs> you know what? He should slot it to get hit to make him break. Nice. Exactly. Sweet play. Sweet play. Yeah, yeah, nice play, Frank. Yeah, we like that. I don't even cover. I don't even cover. No, I do. DM. No. Oh, I think that's. I think this is okay. No, really? you want to get hit. That way, he has to break uh, okay, his board. Yeah, so okay. if you get a shot yeah, yeah, later, yeah. you well, don't lose. Now the cost of a shot yes, is too you big. You want to be yeah, hit? Okay. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. no. There's, there's some offset speed to work back Yes, but I don't want to be hit. I promise you. Uh, MCG disagrees with you. I don't care. Well, you, you should care. You should care. MCG deserves some respect. <laughs> I don't care. I want the board broken. Okay. For this reason as well, I suppose, yeah? It's a couple of big doubles, and maybe he could threaten here. There's no way to get 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> Yeah. Phil needs to get MCG on the learning center. I don't know if he's talking about that. <laughs> no, this is uh, pretty much over. Well, no, that's changed it. pretty much to over. And Frank yeah. Frigo is now rolling. still undefeated. Wow, well done, Frank. Making it to the finals. Very, very good. We have wow. an American finals. Wow, we. Victor Ashkenazi versus Frank Frigo coming up. The Ameri the two, two Amer Tonight at 2200 Monte Carlo time. Not 2200 in every time zone. It will take a while. <laughs> but it happened. The two Americans with the underdogs, and they both got there. Uh... The two Americans were underdogs in the match at some point. Yeah. yeah, they were, for sure. But they fought back, and now we've got Victor and Frank in the undefeated finals. Uh, but if those, the, the, the gentlemen that just lost go into the second chance, though, yes? Yeah, but deep. Uh, Chris 
That's what's worked out. He's got to win four matches on the bounce to to do it now. How many? Wow. Four matches on the bounce. Wow. So that's a big difference. That's a big swing, yeah? Yeah. And you just have to... He's just guaranteed the minimum cash now. You know, he's guaranteed 10 to 16 cash out. Yeah, is, that's uh, not as leisurely as, as just winning this one, for sure. No, it's tough. It's uh, that's a big... This is a, I mean, they're all tough times to lose, but this feels... Oh, uh, yeah. This feels... Uh, yeah. Well, Frank could repeat it's as champion. Bubbling. Victor could get his first championship. So 29 years since the last time Frank won. You know what? Um... I've never won. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, okay, guys and girls. Uh, we're going to shut down both streams till 10 p.m. Uh, we thank you all for watching this afternoon. Thanks very much to Justin Knoll and Mark Dixon for calling an exciting match. I mean, the two semifinals today. Could not have been more exciting. Wild stuff. I mean, I left this stream to go watch the other one for a few <laughs> minutes. I'm not going to lie, okay? I was and, like, uh, bye. <laughs> so anyway, tonight at 10 p.m., we'll have the undefeated bracket final, which will be Victor Askenazi versus Frank uh, Frigo. Yep. And we will have a super jackpot match. Uh, okay. 60, field of 64, top players in the world. I'm sure we'll have a good pairing. You know, so uh, yeah. I'll post some uh, notices once the... Uh, Super jackpot pairings are up. And, yeah. Uh, who we decide to play. Mark said before he left that they were both underdogs, but I think he met at uh, the guys that won were both underdogs at some point in the match. I think I, I put the correction in there because I yeah. think they were both the favorites going into the match. They were actually. both the yeah. favorites going into the match for sure. On on the books, they were they were definite favorites going into the match, but at some point they were definitely underdogs at the score. Well, I don't know if you saw it. You know, Victor got down. Victor was one roll away. One roll away. From getting tossed he out. He had to have. By what, a pip, six I three think. or better, or a couple, of, uh, a couple of doubles would have done it as yeah. well. Yeah, but <laughs> and then, oh, it was unbelievable. And he had fourteen seconds at the end. Uh, it definitely feels like a whimsical run for for Victor. There has been many times where he was just one roll away from losing the match, and rolled double fives to get out one time, and then rolled doubles and doubles in a race another time to get it. But he's always hanging in. You can't give Victor an inch. Yeah. You can't give the guy an inch. Because then he will string you up. Well, that's right. And, 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 and drain down, your body. He was one roll from losing the match. Yeah. Right? And he gets the one roll, and then he grinds it out and uh, and wins the match. Yeah. Chris Rogers played great. Got to be just gutted, you know? Yeah, yeah. There were, there were a few things in, in some of those games where, like, it looked like Victor was dead, and maybe there were ways to kind of maximize your edge with checker play that were just kind of like missed in the spot. But I mean, it's a top spot to be in. Man. The lights are on, in. you're playing Victor. Things aren't going well at this moment. You know, you had him, you had him, and now you can feel he's coming for coming, you. Sliding away. And he's just shaking that cup and shaking that cup and shaking that cup and shaking that <laughs> cup. You know, he's gonna hear that rattle for the rest of the night, I'm sure, you know? <laughs> the death rattle. The death rattle. Okay, Ooh. folks. Uh, Thank everybody for viewing. We're having just uh, some great commentary. Thank you to thank to you. I hope I, I guess I hope Phil's doing fine. He was just feeling ill. Yeah, or huh? I don't know. But uh, just on the spot, great. I knew he was Phil's well out, spoken. Phil's out here in Monte Carlo, living that Ric Flair life. So he was bound to get sick a, a little bit. <laughs> Woo! So I, you know, <laughs> happened upon uh, Mark Dixon. I know he's fairly well spoken and decent. Player. I used to play in shoots with him in London. Yeah, I thought he might mesh well with uh justin so uh geez we had uh we our viewership numbers for for during the week not counting the weekend and the final no. it just off the charts blowing blowing people out so we appreciate everybody watching stream two's doing good too stream two's doing great so uh anyway we'll see y'all at 10. sounds good, good night for victor and frank frigo let's victor. go <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> USA.